Shall we? Building relationships. <laughs> Look, hi, Light. How are you? Um. Uh. Oh. Okay. Hold on. Uh. Let's see. Once. Hold on. One second. Oops. See if I can adjust the volume on my side. I don't know if this will work, but let me try it. Okay. You'll have to let me know if it's too loud or not because I can't, can't tell. <clears throat> Sounds good though. All right. We got a cute little house here. <laughs> Let's go build relationships, guys. Oh God. House dating sold. <laughs> Hey! Oh my goodness. How long are you going to stand around like that? Come on, I'm waiting. It's time to make a move. <laughs> Is this game gonna be full of puns and stuff? Hi, chill, good morning! All right, oh, here we go. Let's go. Talk to a friendly apartment. Oh, nice moves. Haha. <laughs> I know you've always got swanking moves. Now are you ready for a day of fun and vulnerability? <laughs> yeah. I'm always ready for some swanking. Yeah. Let's say that. Gives you Undertale. Sounds like Undertale. Kind of, yeah. Here, hold on my... Uh, Camera is in the way. One second. Let me move it. Let me move it down and out of the way. Maybe down here will be good. Let's get this vacation started. Welcome to Resort Island. The only island filled to the brim with extra beauty. With unique fauna you've never seen before. Wow, you can just feel the quality of the air here. And look, such wildly different microclimates to explore. I'm gonna be honest, do not like the sound effects of the, I don't like that. Makes me feel less like an apartment and more like an exotic resort. Yeah, I feel that way too. Anyways, are you ready to meet the bachelor pads? How do you say that with an X, chat? Is it just bachelor? Um, as long as they're swanking. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> you bet we're all swanking. What is swanking? I've never heard of that. What is that? <laughs> because it's time for you to meet the love of your life. Resort Island is known for bringing out who you truly are. And the bachelor pads aren't, or around the island are eager to know you. In fact, I think there's one waiting by the beach. Now, do you have any questions for me? Um, no, all good. Perfect, now go out there and have a swanking good time. Oh, Hillary Swank? Oh, maybe that's what that means. Okay, I gotta go introduce myself to the windmill. Oh, what's this? Howdy do there. Oh, his name is Chester, because he's a chest. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm... I'm rooting tootin'. What is this? I love that for you. <laughs> Look, I'll be honest. I need to find the rest of my hootin' wootin' cohort. Cohort. In return, I'll give you one of my lootin' gootin' treasures. How does that sound? Consider it a yeehaw. Well, yeehaw indeed. Take this gift. I got a weird shoe. <laughs> what? It lets you do this thing I think is called jumping. Anyway, keep your window peeled. Keep your windows peeled for my cohort. Cohort, they look just like me. God, I love the puns. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Wee. What?
It makes noises when I jump. <laughs> what is this? Who are you? A doctor. <laughs> hey, how are you? Pretty good. How about you? I'm doing okay. Kind of stuck here. Oh, I'll say, how'd you get stuck? That's confidential, actually. Look, I have a request for you. Sure thing, I love pleasing others. <laughs> <laughs> wow, uh, oh. Thanks for sharing, I guess. <laughs> oh my god. Listen, I'm looking for a research assistant. Take this fishing rod. Be a good little building and catch each type of fish for me. Each type. I'll pay you with this gift card I found on my countertop. And also include your name in the research paper. Paper, uh, Maybe. Any questions? Um... Can you call me a good building again? <laughs> no. <laughs> Any questions? I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Go on now, building. <laughs> Press E of fishing sign to fish. Okay. All right. We need to. We need to go to the windmill. But I keep seeing all these buildings. I got I got to talk to them all. Hey, cool rocks, huh? It's a townhouse. Don't know how it got here, but it's blocking the way. Well, not for my partner apparently. Oh no. Climbed over the rocks all by themselves. Don't tell them this, but I really hate rock climbing. My partner keeps telling me it's because I don't know how to jump. I'll just wait for someone to clear the way instead. Oh. Okay. Well, good luck with that. Um, let's go down to the beach. Or, how do I get... I can't move my camera angle. Maybe I can. I, oh, here we go. Whee! Wow, you can fly. Oh, look, here's here's another chest. Another chester. Hello. I'm conducting a local community survey today. Do you identify more as a bottom floor or a rooftop? What's with the ha ha? Depends on the mood. <laughs> That's that is inappropriate. I just now connected that. <laughs> what does that mean? Huh, interesting. If you say so. Anyways, thank you for your time. Please take... Oh, I got another weird shoe. Your input has been highly valuable for the community. Thank you, and please have a good day. Oh, goodness. Oh, my. It's okay. They're only buildings. <laughs> what are these dark questions? I don't think that was dark. <laughs> Wee! Oh, what happened to the oh windmill? Windmill! Here we go, guys. The love of my life might be right here. Hey, you must be the new bachelor pan. I'm Millie, cause she's a mill. Oh, I want to hang out with these devs. Me too. And you are? Uh, some. <laughs> The building. <laughs> Wait, which one should we choose? Samantha or building? Building. Bill or Samantha? Cement. Samantha. Okay, let's do Samantha. Cute. Your name is so original. Hehe. <laughs> um. Well, we can't all have cute names like yours. Millie, oh, that's so nice of you to say. Thank you. Hee <laughs> hee. Anyways, how are you finding the island? Um, 
I've been exploring. We'll say that. I've been exploring. Oh, that's so cool. Little secrets everywhere. Hee <laughs> hee. We're flirting with the building. As a building. <laughs> Keep running into these chesters. Seems like they're working on this wacky community survey. Hee <laughs> hee. Or ha ha. Ha ha hee hee. What about you? I'm just so glad to finally be here. It's It's been so long since my last holiday. The sea breeze against my facade. <laughs> Feeling the sand and the cracks of my foundation. <laughs> I could stay here forever. <laughs> oh my god. Um. Okay. Oh! Would you look at the time? Min asked me to help prepare a picnic for all the bachelor pads. Stop by the flowery, 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 why can't I say that? Flowery fields later. It's just beyond the mountain path. Uh, where? Okay, up there. I thought you might want to check in with Mint first. Either way, take your time. Go take a fishing break. I don't know. I'm gonna head out. Can't walk, so I'll be teleporting there. Hee <laughs> hee. See ya. Oh, okay. Ah, all right. Interesting. How do I fish? Oh, here's a... Didn't they say something about a sign? I need a fish by the sign. Okay, here we go. All right, so we got to aim. There we go. Oh, oh, it's like Stardew Valley. Oh, okay, okay. Not bad, not bad. I got a box fish. <laughs> Look at the cars. There we go. Nice. Okay, got some cars to add to our collection. Let's go see if there's any other cars we can get. Because that one house wanted us to get all of the cars. Or er, fish. Carfish. Looks like a cute game. This is definitely one of the sillier games I think I've ever played. Oh, we got a sea bass. I know the music. <laughs> I don't understand that reference to sea bass. <laughs> the heck? Uh, oops. Oh, I... Oh, God. Okay, 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 we're good, we're good. Is there anything else that was... over here? Besides the Chester guy? Oh, I guess it, that was it. Okay, okay. Let's go... Uh... Climb. Um. Oh, here we go. I have to be on the rocks, though, I think. There we go. Yeah. We're climbing. Whee! Climbing. Climbing up some rocks, just like houses do. Here we go. Alright, how do I help these people? Can I? Oh, here's a person. Who are you? Is this mint? Oh, I think that's mint. Wait, what's this? Oh, there's another fish, right? Oh, here we go. So mint is <laughs> climbing a common carp. Okay, I guess all the fish are actually just names of fish. The carp. Makes sense though. I can jump, yeah. But it's a it's a little aw awkward jumping. I know the banjo music. Oh, here we go. Oh look, <gasps> a mushroom. Oh, I can't get it. Yo, I love rock climbing. Are you a fellow bouldering building? <laughs> um, heck yeah. I actually hate bouldering, so no. <laughs> Let's go! 
It's my current personality trait. I came here because I heard there's more bouldering routes. Anyways, were you going to say something? Uh, are you a bachelor pad? No, I'm here with my partner. We love bouldering. Anyways, were you going to say something? Not anymore. Bye. Bye. Okay, I guess we'll go talk to Mint. Oh, no. Oh, oh, God. Oh, oh, God. Oh, oh, God. I, I fail. Go, go up. Go up. Go up. Go up. Okay, we're gonna have to go climb that thing again. Whee! Camera angle is awkward. I don't know if I can adjust. Oh, I, oh, I can adjust the camera. Oh, oh, this is my bad then. Okay. All right, this is easier. I didn't know I could use my mouse to adjust. Oh, what's this? Can't make it up? There might be a Chester hiding around the beach that can help. Oh, I, I, I got that. Oh, God. Did I get all the fish? Was there anything over here? I don't think so. <laughs> uh, let's go see. Did I get all the fish? I don't think so, but let's see. Here. Any questions? Why don't you do it yourself? Because I'm stuck in this pond. Any questions? <laughs> what's the... What's... No, wait. Oops. What's reward? The demo isn't finished? So the reward hasn't been implemented yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that's honest. <laughs> All right, that makes sense. All right, let's go talk to Mint. Hello, Mint. Hey, how was the chat with Millie? Good. What if I say bad? Oh, that's nice. In the meantime, I managed to clear this path for you. How did you do it? Haha, <laughs> I shot it with a gun. Thanks. No worries, bud. Uh, I forgot to mention, there's another bachelor pad up ahead. Can't miss that dashing tent waiting for you. Oh, a tent. What do y'all think the name of the tent is? Oh, okay, well, you did not shoot it well enough, Mint. I'm gonna let you know. I, I can't jump over it. <laughs> okay, hold on, let's... There we go. Okay, got it, got it. Hey, what's good? Trent, the tent? <laughs> no! Maybe. Let's see. Campy? That would be a name for a tent. That would be cute. Campy. <laughs> How's it standing? Standing tall? I'm straight up pooping. <laughs> what? My man. What's the my man? I'm, I'm straight up pooping. Haha, -ha, what's pooping? <laughs> Your vibes are straight up silly. I'm in it! <laughs> By the way, haven't seen you more here before. I think Trent is better. Um, it's okay, we can talk to the devs. But add more tents named Trent. Um, I'm Tinnit, by the way. Haven't seen you around here before. What's your deal? I'm Samantha. Totally original. My buddy told me I should come to this island. That's that my life was spiraling or whatever and that I should fix it all up with some loving Interesting um, That's cool <laughs> Real cool So what are you looking for? Um A little bit of fun. I'm looking for the one just going with the flow friends what are we looking for, chat? What are what are we looking for as um, a standing, um, awesome, beautiful building such as us that we are? We're we're I guess we're um, a redheaded, um, yeah, pretty stable too. Standing, I thought you were pooping. 
Well, okay, true. Pooping building. <laughs> I guess it's because of the sound we're jumping. That's why they said that. Um, let's, I'm looking, how about we say we're looking for the one? Yeah. We're looking for the one. Haha, <laughs> you're funny. Either way, think I'm supposed to head to this picnic thing. Seems banging might find what you're looking for there. Walking in, walking is bongo, so I'll be teleporting there instead. Oh, do you, you do you, Tenet. Tag you later. Okay, man, I wish I could teleport. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, we're heading to the flowery field. Um, eventually I'll get there. There we go. Oh, is there anything? Oh, there's a fire. What if I sit in the fire? Does, do I, does something happen? I'm going to be honest. It's kind of hard. There. I'm on fire! All right. What's this? Who's that? Is, oh, there's Chester. There's another Chester. Ah, I can't believe you found me. I was supposed to be conducting this community survey. But I got sick and tired. Well, mostly just tired, actually. Anyways, since you're here, I might as well do the questions. So, uh, what do you look for in a structure? Rock hard walls. <laughs> a big basement. <laughs> An office with a nice job. A kind building. <laughs> God. An office with a nice <laughs> a big piece. <laughs> Crap! What do we answer? What do we answer? <laughs> God dang it. This is the funniest game, man. Who thought of this? <laughs> we need to look at the devs after this. Um, <laughs> a big basement? Okay, a big basement. Haha, <laughs> you know that you can lie on the survey, right? I, <laughs> I got a curious feather. Anyway, here's a gift. You can use it to dash around and stuff. Oh, now let me hide in peace. Okay, dashing, interesting. All right, let's catch some cars. Oh, 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 getting, oh, getting a little frisky with the cars here. Oh, it got a bottom feeder. Oh, it's like a garbage truck. <laughs> Chaotic gameplay, yeah. <laughs> the funny, this is like, this is my type of humor though. This is like perfect. Is there anything like, here no oh, okay all right um wait if i can dash how do i dash how do you dash because wait hold hold on hold on guys how do you dash because didn't somebody want me to like f help them get to their partner how do you dash is there like um there's a fishing journal. Oh, there's three more. Um, I don't know how to, d oh, shift, shift. Oh, maybe, hold on. Okay, maybe I can't tear this down. <laughs> Never mind. I thought maybe I could help them because they said they couldn't reach them. Never mind. Here we go. Flowery field, we made it. Hey, you've reached the end of the demo. No, the picnic day will have to wait for now. No, though there's probably some chesters to find and maybe some more fish to catch. Either way, thanks for checking out the game. Oh no, it's over. Can I talk? Oh, I can't talk to them. Oh yeah, I can. Hey, hey. It's straight up busted that I don't have dialogue implemented yet. 
I'm bonkers ready for this picnic date, but you'll have to wait to experience it. Guess you can still explore around the island, though. Do some fishing, find some chesters. chesters. Unfortunately, that's all I have to say for the demo. Picnic date will have to wait for another time. But I will be in the full game. Until then, you're welcome to keep exploring the island. I don't know, is there really more fish to catch? There's a bridge over there. How? What a very unique, funny game. <laughs> oh, I can go up here. Whee! Oh, oh, I found a wall. Oh, I found another wall. Okay. Well, that's it for the game. Wee! Wee! <laughs> All right. <laughs> how interesting. Wait, how do I like quit out of the game? So there's other fish apparently. Okay, I guess I just all F4. <sighs> 10 out of 10 dive, thanks. <laughs> well, uh, I would give that game um, uh, 10 out of 10 in terms of how funny it is. Interesting graphics. <laughs> what did we think, guys? Did y'all like it? Should I play the full game when it comes out? I, I'm here for all the puns. <clears throat> it looks like it's going to be a small game, so. <laughs> Andrew, this game hit close to home. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I just want to know what they were on when they came up with this idea. Um, It had a solid foundation. I'm going to write these. Y'all are so clever. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how, I don't, I don't know the inspiration behind this game. But let's see who the, um, one second. So, these are the people that made it. Tan Ant Games and Tanat Buzayangul. Probably butchered that. This is the only game that Tan Ant Games has made. What about, oh, and, and this person. Nice. It is a very silly game. <laughs> ah. A little roof around the edges, though. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> this is funny. Keep telling me them. The freaking kazoo. That's what that sound is, right? The, <laughs> the sound effect that we heard. So we heard a banjo and a kazoo. <laughs> you could say this, the ceiling for this game's potential is great. <laughs> <laughs> God, that was fun. Definitely unique. What uh what is this Onyx? You found it? Found sorry, you found what? The What is it? What is it? Okay, what's the next game we want to try? I definitely want to try Fields of Mystria. I already have it downloaded. Um how do I home page? How do I go back to the oh there it is. All right. So I I guess we're gonna focus on the wholesome direct. There's so many games you can focus on. <sighs> of how the devs showcase the game. Oh, they showcased this game at Summer Game Fest. Oh, I didn't know. Wait, what time? 
What time was it? Did you link the time? Give ATS a shot. ATS. What's ATS? Around three hours, three minutes. Wow, I did that good. Tenet Games. Oh, they're from Thailand. <laughs> I love that he has a house behind him. I would be friends with this person so fast if I could. Freaking, freaking sakes, man. Is mint the name because the green roof? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh, apartment. this guy Creek. Freaking. <laughs> I can understand now why there's so much humor in the game um freaking gold man freaking that's so funny onyx thanks for sending that to me um man I want to be friends with that guy I want to be friends with that person. That's so funny. That's so funny. Holy cow. Okay. <laughs> She's tall enough. <laughs> She's really tall. Oh my god. <sighs> this game is too spicy to be family friendly. Well, the funny thing is about family friendly is that we can basically make that whatever. Because there is some spicy things that are dropped in Disney films that only adults really know. And I feel like that's kind of the same type of humor in this game. If you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, also because it depends on the family. Um, okay, so these are all of the games that were announced during the Wholesome Direct. Um, obviously I, I really enjoyed playing a lot of these. Wow, this one's only three or four dollars. The pool. Um, I wanted to play the frog one. I might wait because I, I think I want to focus on the demos today. Oh, see, all of these have demos. Oh, oh. 
Okay. I I like the lost and found. I just want to figure out which demo, more demos I want to play for today. I think we should play Fields of Mystria. Actually, I might wait to play Fields of Mystria after the Ubisoft Forward. Just because Fields of Mystria is like an hour long. Um, there's the demo for Pine. Do y'all feel like crying? That one looked, oh, the bookshop one. That could be fun. Oh, here's the tiny, oh my God, crap. There's too many options. Oh, there's the undusted, oh, and spilled. Hmm. Hmm. Which one should we do? I kind of want to do the tiny. I want to do a tiny bookshop demo. Let's do that one. Let's do tiny bookshop. Tiny bookshop. Tiny bookshop. Depends. Oh, wait. We go from dating houses to devastating loss. <laughs> I know. Let's uh, wait for that one. I don't think I... I mean, in a demo, with how much could they... How much damage could they do? Maybe I shouldn't ask that question. <laughs> um, okay. Let's, let's play Tiny... Bookshop, tiny bookshop, tiny bookshop. Oh, shoot, tiny book. There, let's try a tiny bookshop. Keep in mind, these are demos, so they're not very long. So sorry for like the, I don't know, I feel like the flow is off because they're small, but this is a demo. One day you'll get me to play American Truck Simulator. I, I'm i not sure about that. <laughs> Those are definitely not my type of games. That and like the flying one, they look really cool, but probably not for me. All for you. I'll save it all for you, Snapshot. Here we go. Tiny, tiny bookshop. What's, what tutorials have? Oh, oh, skip tutorial or settings. Sorry, not tutorial. Pause game when not in focus. Hide effect percentages for vibes. Interesting. I don't know what, what this what this is, but we'll see. Uh, borderless window. Nice. Is the volume okay? Oh. You can change the book colors. Oh, this is perfect. Gamepad and your keyboard. Cool. Okay. Looks good. Let's start. Tiny bookshop. You wishlisted this one? Oh, I need to go back and wishlist both those games. Today is the day. I've packed up my things. Leaving everything else behind for a quiet life by the sea. Don't we all wish we could just do that and live by the sea? I do. I wish I could live by an ocean. Tiny bookshop. I like the art style. Waterfront Square, Monday, summer 1st. Okay, got to open up, got to open up the little windows. So these are all the books I have in stock. It's sunny. I have 49 gold pieces. Right, Lulu? My, my, what a sight. You must be the new bookseller. Hello, Til, Tild, Tild. I've heard so much about you. Who are you? Oh, how rude of me. I'm Tilt. I used to run the local bookstore here before my retirement. Lovely to meet you. My old competition. I'm here to welcome you to our quaint little town. And because I thought you could use someone to show you the ropes around here. Actually, I like her. Never mind. Let's see. You should know that us 
Bookstonians have very particular tastes in books. Bookstonians. I, for example, prefer to read classic and crime novels and not much else. So why don't I have a look at your selection, see if I can find something worthwhile. Oh, bravo. You had the right book on hand. Let's see. What is this arrow? I guess it means that they she has a higher chance of buying these books. Oh, I see. When a customer finds a book, they will keep looking for more. Oh, another Bram Stoker for the shelf. Bram Stoker. There's another person coming. Sally, you didn't have the right book on offer. Oh, shoot. Okay. Even though you may have books of the right genre, whether people actually take one home depends on your sale chance. Right, it's only 32%. You can check your sale chance at any time by hovering over the genres on the right. But they did say you can take off the percentages for vibes, so good to know. The sale chance shows the odds that someone might find a book they like. Because the chance is based on how many books you have in your shop. It will decrease as you run out of books throughout the day. Managing to sell that last book of a genre is the mark of a great bookseller. Okay. Nice. Money. Three? Oh, I guess books don't cost a lot, so it's fine. Oh, look. Here's more people. We got a runner. Hi, Declan. What do we got here? Oh, okay. Oh, travel books. Got it. They like travel. Oh, didn't have that, but I had this fact book. Oh, and another travel. Man, she gonna get me out of stock. I'll happily read more. Tamir Gasty. Oh, shoot. She's gonna, she's robbing me, man. Oh. Fern. Um, hi there. You're the bookseller, right? I see you already talked to Till. Did she mention her mysterious sources to you too? Huh? Yeah, she does that. Told me all about the review before I had even started my job there. Oh, um, I'm talking about the book Stonebury review. It's a local paper. <laughs> is everything here all book related? How was my weekend? It was really nice. Um, I'm happy I'm streaming though. <laughs> it's the local paper. Yeah, I sort of write for them. My name's Fern Estrada. Glad to meet you. Your arrival is kind of the only interesting thing that's happened here in a while. So you'll have to excuse my noisiness, but it's sort of my job to write about you now. Oh gosh, okay. One second. How about you help me out by answering a few questions? I'll give you a free subscription return. You might appreciate the events calendar and people often sell used books in the classifieds. Hmm. Right, so um, for the record, what made you come to Bookstonebury? Um, needed an escape, searching for where I belong, wanted an adventure. Let's say wanted an adventure. Oh wow, I kind of feel the same way. I hope it works out for you. Okay, and what's your first impression of the town so far? Uh, <laughs> windy? <laughs> uh, friendly, I think. I think. Don't worry, it really is. People might be a bit meddlesome, but they only have the best intentions. Meddlesome? The heck? Thanks so much for the little interview. I really appreciate it. And I promise you'll have your first copy of the review by tomorrow morning. I'll have a look at your selection now, if you don't mind. Um, see you around. I guess I can't buy stuff yet. Oh my god, look how many books this person's buying! Get it! Oh shoot, I don't have any more. <laughs> wow! I made 30 gold! Is do I have to manage how many books I have in my little bookstore? I guess I will. 
So it's more of like a, it's like a passive game where you just watch. There's nothing I can do unless they speak to me. But I like the art style. I wonder if we can, I wonder if we can decorate like the outside of the place and add like some chairs and stuff. Ooh, I like the, oh, I like when it's sunset. Wow, look at, look at this. Yeah, I love cute people that buy everything. Buy me out, lady. <laughs> Brooke Dixon, a nice light read. Are these real books? Because I wouldn't know. I'm not a reader. Thanks for buying everything. Oh, look, you can even see. Oh, 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 it's all done. Okay, now we got to close up shop and leave. Oh, what's this? Book Stoneberry Review, filled with articles, events, and items for sale. Thanks, Fern. Okay, so this is the newspaper he was talking about. The Book Stoneberry Review reports on the goings-on around town. You can check today and tomorrow's weather. Okay, you keep and keep an eye out for upcoming events. Here you can see the money in your pocket and all the books you own, both in your shop and in storage. It looks like they're running a little low. Yeah, I got bought out. In the classified section, you can acquire used books to replenish your stocks. Let's give it a try. Just click to buy. Oh, cool. So I can buy used books. All right. Unlabeled. So many books lying around. Basement bin bargain. Oh, the BBB. Inherited from my grandparent. Oh, there must be some good classics there. Oh, wait, this is free. Mixed book bundle. Old childhood favorites. Secondhand books. Got no space for these. Okay, let's take the free ones for now. Oh, ooh, okay. These should come in handy. Maintaining a good stock of books is an important part of any book selling venture. Okay, the classified section will sometimes have other bits and bobs. Let's pick up this lonely cactus. Oh, <gasps> a cactus. We can decorate. Oh, it's free. A bit prickly, but, at, but has a heart of gold. While equipped, plus 2% to travel sale chance. Okay. Okay. Close the newspaper by toggling it off in the item bar. Okay. Let's give this lonely cactus a new home. This is your item bar. From here, you can open the newspaper and customize your bookshop amongst other things. Click here to customize your bookshop. <gasps> this is your inventory. Drag an item to place it in your bookshop. Okay. Oh, I get to choose. Okay. Oh, let's put it here. Yeah. Nice. You got a boost. Some items. Oh. Some items can increase your sale price for certain genres or change the effectiveness of other items. Free for you, but when you literally clicked, I got an ad. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's funny. Um, watch out, though. Sometimes this comes at the expense of another genre. You helped pay for the books, Declan. Thank you for your sacrifice. Equipping some items will also increase your daily expenses, so keep that in mind. Interesting. Okay, so uh, honestly, this game ha has a lot more than I thought. Okay, oh, look, you can also maybe change color. I don't know what this means, but... Hover over an item to check out what it does. To remove an item, just, I guess, right-click. You can decorate inside or outside your shop. Just click here. Oh, inside, outside. Let's play something inside. Here. Click here to start painting your bookshop. Huh? There are, uh, these are your paints. Click and drag. Okay. Um, ooh, let's do a blush. 
Oh. Can I paint the green? Oh. Hmm. Can I not paint the... Oh, removes... Oh. Hmm. Once once have sat once have satisfied your inner interior decorator, click here to save and return. Oh, I'm not done yet. Oh, a book sign. A sign that says books while equipped plus 50% to hanging effects. Oh, oh, folding table. Why not show off some of your beloved items here? Plus one daily expenses. So it gives me money. Oh, it's paintable. Guest book. Oh, people left some sweet messages in here. Plus 3% to customer count. Cool. Can I get more colors? Gosh darn it. I want to change the green. Oh, I think this is how you do it. Oh! Ooh, 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 ooh. How cute. <laughs> I'm gonna make it match my outfit and that's my hair color. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, I want more diff. I want more browns. Look, I matched my tiny bookstore. <laughs> Let's do brown on the inside too. Oh, adorable, adorable. What about if we? Oh, too matchy. Oh, too matchy. No, I. We'll just keep it brown. <laughs> oh, wait, maybe we'll do this. Perfect. Perfect. How do I decorate? Okay, books. Oh God, no. Oh God, we are gonna have to fix that. Can I fix that color? It's too... No! Oh, you can't. Oh no, what have I done? Can I... Can I put that inside? Oh. Oh, it has to go outside. Okay, well... <laughs> Oh well. Alright, let's put it. Oh, here we go. Get this. Let's move this outside. There we go. And then we have a guest book. So we'll have that right here. Can I like rotate it? Can I? Oh, the table can be painted. Let's make a table pink. Maybe. Too much pink. Make it brown. Yay! How nice! <laughs> Alright, I think we're done here. What can fit inside that home? It's not a home, it's a bookstore. It's just a little bookstore. It's bigger, it's more spacious than it looks. Welcome to Bookstonebury. Each day you can pick a location to visit. Oh, we can change our location. Going to a location has a travel cost. Okay which is based on your daily expenses as well as parking fees for the location. Ugh, fees, expenses, bills. How dare them. You'll unlock more locations as you go. For now, let's pick the waterfront. One second. Okay, minus two, not bad. Oh. These are the books in your storage. Select a genre by clicking it to start stocking your shelves, okay? Click to place the selected genre into your shelf. Okay, nice, this book is now in your shop. Stocking more books of a genre increases the odds of people finding a book they will like within that genre. Check the sale price by hovering over the books on the right. Got it. Uh, you can remove books from your shelves with right click. Okay, let's fill up the shelves. No need to leave any empty space. All right, can I, um, okay, kind of want to like sort it by color. You know what I mean, chat? 
Um, kinda. Oh, we definitely need more travel. And, um, okay, maybe we can't. Oh, I don't think we need that many kids' books. I think we need more crime books. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> um, how much more do we have? Oh, fact, okay. We, they sold us out on travel. I kind of want to go get more travel books. That's going to bother me. Okay, I guess... Mm, I guess that makes sense. Drama. How about less drama, more classic? Okay, we'll just fill this up. Okay, there you go. Your shelves are ready to go. Let's set up shop or keep adjusting your selection. Let's just go. Tuesday, summer 2nd. Ah! Wait, this is where we were last time. Did you notice you can look around a location? Oh, click and drag to move your view. Oh, you can interact with things by clicking on them. Let's pick up this buoy. Oh, we can just take it? Buoy, oh buoy. Plus 2% of travel sale chance. Okay. What else can I click on? Oh, I can click on these birds. Nice. I don't think there's anything else I can click on. All right. Oh. <gasps> Dog. Look at the dog. So cute. Okay, let's open up shop. I hate this sign, but whatever. You can also buy books and items while out and about, but they will be put into your storage where you can access them on the next day. All right, let's get this other free, free loot. Yeah. News rack. Perfectly organize your papers. That's 65, though. Okay. No events coming out, but eventually there'll be a bi-weekly flea market. What does this say? Bus, boss, book Stoneberry cus, newcomer t turns new page and presses locals with mobile bookshop. Have you ever dreamt of going on an adventure and starting a humble business abroad? That's precisely what this tiny bookshop operator has done. Choosing our very own book, Stonebury, uh, at their latest destination. When asked about their first impression, the fresh-faced bookseller finds Book Stonebury to be very friendly. Find out more about the new exciting shop by visiting the waterfront tomorrow. <laughs> That's what I chose. How nice. That was quite a sound. <laughs> Don't y'all like seagulls? <laughs> Do you think they'll sign my guest book? Can I fast forward? Oh, it shows you the chance. Man, these type of, these runners like everything. What is y'all's favorite genre of book? What would y'all choose? I would choose fantasy. I think fantasy would be mine. I wish there were more fact books. Oh, okay. Oh, there's that lady, the grandma again. Oh, there you are. I wanted to commend you on how much you've been livening, livening up this place. I'm sure you'll want to branch out to other places in town now. My friend Mary want, or owns a very successful cafe in the town center. If I call her up and get her to give you a parking space, you could get quite a few visitors. Good call. Yes, I know, dear. You can always trust me on these sort of things. I, it's decided then. Meet me out by the Cafe Liberté as soon as you can. Ooh, we got a new location. Cute. What do y'all think about this game, by the way? Seagulls, good. Geese, evil. I know from unfortunate experience, geese can be really mean. You know, seagulls are always just looking for a nice snack. Geese see you as a snack. Um, I want to... 
I went to an outdoor school middle of the year due to the students leaving trash behind. The smell attracted seagulls. No. They can be annoying. That is true. Um, and they poop everywhere. My favorite genre is the kind that sits on my shelf and makes me look smart. <laughs> Fair. Fair. Go to the cafe and speak to Tilt. Me Tilt. Okay, we did that. Challenge unlocked. Oh, and while we're on the topic of showing your face, I heard our dear Walter was quite impressed with your wagon. He's one of the local fishers. Why don't you go over there and introduce yourself? He should be back from his recent catch just now. Okay, it's got little challenges. You might want to write this down, love. Having an organized diary will come in handy in our business. You know what? I still have quite an, a few unsold journals left over from my old shop. So here, why don't you take this one? Thanks. She's giving me everything. She's a good tutorial grandma. There you go. I hope you make good use of it. Goodbye. I got the journal. Open it any time to check on your progress. Here you can track which genres you have sold the most of. Useful for adjusting your selection. This is the total number of books you sold here. Let's see if you can beat Til Tilday's record. Tilday, isn't Tilday... Like the, you know, <laughs> the squiggly line? It's precious, very cozy. You need to see more. It's cute. I don't really like reading. The few books I've read have been fantasy fiction. I've been reading the Divine Comedy recently, and that's to settle my mind, surprisingly. I love it. I am also don't read very much. However, I have been reading this book. It's more like a self-help book of, like, getting to know, like, more about me, and I like it. But... I'm reading it really slowly, and unfortunately, I got it from the library, and it's due on Thursday, so I need to freaking read it. <laughs> Check back here for hints and events as you discover more. It's quiet. <laughs> Looks like this page holds little postage stamps to mark your moments in Bookstonebury. You'll collect these stamps as you are, you are making contributions around town. You can also see your progress towards the stamps as well as hints and extra info. Hover over the stamp for more information. Ahoy, matey! Introduce yourself to Walt the Sailor. He's usually talking to a seagull friend at the waterfront. Seagull? Um, flip to other pages. Okay. Nice. Uh, Tilly asked you to meet her at the cafe in town. It seems like she won't accept no for an answer. Okay. Buy my books, please. Yeah, the Tilde. Oh, here, here he is. Ahoy there, kiddo. How's it going? Looks like you've got a good sturdy vessel there. I've got some other, or I've got some old items lying around which I thought you might like. See if any of it is to your liking. Oh. Do we want a raw fish? <laughs> um, for all your maritime needs, a life buoy, a lobster buoy. I kind of like this one. It's $40. For 40 gold, though. What the heck? Hi, Rando. What are, what are you most excited for? The Nintendo Direct? Oh, I'm to be honest, I'm not sure what they would show. I am never really good at predicting those kind of things. Um, so I'm not sure. Just the hat. I think I'm just excited for the fact that Nintendo is even going to have a Direct this month. We still don't know when, though. I'm going to get the life buoy. Why not? Plus one? That's it? Okay. I don't want to buy that much, though. We'll just buy that. Thanks. Bye. My friends tell me you got some decent cargo on board, too. They've been specific, especially enjoying your travel and classic no novels. Guess I have to be careful or I might be outsold by your... Why don't you, we make a bet? If you can make 20 sales to my buddies, I'll admit defeat. Oh, shoot. Okay. Ho oh, ho! I'm looking forward to a little competition, kiddo. Good luck. So he sells books as well. Hi. 
Oh, no, that's it. So you can buy things. I can say hi to people. Tittles, toodles. Oh, hey, what are you doing here? Our weather correspondent at the paper said that today will be the hottest day of the year. So I assume you'd be at the beach like everyone else. Oh, I'm so sorry. I already forgot that you're new. You just seem to fit in so easily. i so sorry. Sure. Sorry. Here, I'll show you how to get to Far Beach in case you want to drop by there soon. Okay. I'm not really a beach person myself, but I'm sure the crowd there will need some of your reading material. So we unlocked a new area. Nice. What is this? Show off your catch. Introduce the locals. Oh, yeah. This is the tw 20 of the sailors. <laughs> yeah, I want to fix my... Here. Thanks, Ian. I'm going to knit and lurk. See y'all in a little while. See you later. See you later, alligator. Slaughterhouse 5. What a find. Oh, nice. Slaughterhouse find. I want to, like, change my bookshop to match, like, the area. So I feel like a blue, white, and red would go well with this theme. Not my pink and purple and brown all right we are ready to go nice looks like some items have been discounted a little you might be now might be a good time to buy them although you could wait longer and risk someone else buying them first oh great items in the seasonal section have a much slower turnover so there's no need to hurry but be sure to snatch them up before the season ends. How do I know? Oh, I guess here. It's going to rain tomorrow. Oh, we're going to go by the cafe. Painted by the talented Harper. Uh, organize your papers. Um, all new romance novels. I don't know, what do you think cafe people will will read? I'm gonna go for the good old price of free. Thank you. World Atlas. Oh, this one's a travel one. That's 40 though. This one's only five. Let's do this. This is child books, I think. Or no, it's everything. Is it always everything? All right, um, let's, well, we're going to the cafe, so I think I'm going to keep this the same. I am going to change the building, though. Uh, that's too much. Blech. I need more colors, darn it. Ooh, that looks kind of, that looks a little better. A little. All right. Um, let's go. Oh, so here's the beach. Cafe Liberté. Let's go here. I don't know what they're gonna buy. So let's just fill in what we have now i have too much fantasy books should we get more classic mm, or more crime drama maybe let's do that maybe thing is i don't know what they'll want no one hates free stuff no no we don't no free no hating Cute. Nice. So you can read more information about what that guy wrote, I guess. Doesn't tell me what kind of books these people will like, so we'll see. We got classic and crime so far. Can I click on anything? Oh, here we go. 
Give me these flowers. No. Oh, there you are. It seems like Miriam has her hands full with the cafe again, but she told me to give you her best. Now I have something you might help me with. I've been cleaning out my old shop for months now, selling the small pieces on the flea market. This Saturday, I'm trying to move the more bulky items to the market. Help an old bookseller out, will you? They'd fit well into that little wagon of yours. Just pick them up and bring them with you to the market on Saturday. I'll owe you, and I'll make sure though there will be loads and loads of customers in it for you. Pick up all five of Tilde's items at the cafe. Okay. Where? Where? Oh, I need your help, youngin. Sometimes people will ask for help if they can't find out what they're looking for. Click the bubble to help them. They won't wait forever. Oh, okay. Listen closely to the people's requests and try to pick up on what kind of book they're looking for. Hello, dear. What have you got today? I can't stop reading true crime. Also, I love that whodunits are having a comeback. it? Okay. People also leave a lot of their likes and dislikes unsaid, so make sure to put yourself in their shoes. Okay, now let's look for a book that might pique your interest. Click the inspect a book. Click to inspect a book. Okay, we got Stephen King, The Outsider. Here you can see important information about the book, including a short description. Do you think this one is a good match? He's a talk of the town, but this outsider may hold a chilling secret. Get ready for twists and turns in this gripping horror thriller. Okay. It's not a true crime, though. Once you've found a match, try recommending it to them. Okay, not that. Obsessive fan has no plans of ever letting her favorite romance author go. Another cocaine-fueled 80s horror classic. Okay. That's two Stephen Kings, the Mage Runner. Running through a labyrinth of danger and mystery, a group of courageous teens fight for survival in a dystopian world where no one can be trusted. I like that movie. I never read the book, but I read, I watched the movie. Dark Places. Little Libby's life in rural Kansas forever changed when she witnessed the murder of her family. 24 years later, she's revisited revisiting it all for the entertainment of crime-loving strangers and begins to understand what really happened. Maybe this? What about this one? How about that? Hmm, looks like there could have been a better fit. What? Meh, dark places. This case sounds fascinating, I guess. Well, shoot, if you didn't like it. But they'll try this one and keep shopping anyways. Dang it, which one would have been better? I don't know. Freaking true crime means that it really happened, right? None of those, those were all like made up ones. All right, great selection, dear, I guess. Oh, here's all the furniture. Okay. I'm over encumbered now. Having her shop equipment will equipped when you visit the flea market on Saturday. Okay. Well, dang it, lady. Sorry I didn't give you a good enough book. Hi. Hello. I like how you can say hi to every everybody. Basically, Nancy Drew type stories of who done it, but she said true crime. Maybe true crime can mean something else. I don't know. Oh, I need your opinion. Okay, here we go. What's trendy? Let's see. Um, I'm looking for pretty illustrations and I'd love to read something classic. Okay, so she wants a classic picture book. Okay, a collection of ancient fragments. This book looks a, offers a glimpse into the captivating poetry of a mysterious Greek writer whose verses of passion for women have stood the test of time. Well, it has a... Oh, a collection of ancient fragments. Maybe no pictures? I don't know. 
Oh, the Odyssey. I don't think there's any illustrations in the Odyssey, though. We only have three options. Who's up for a political assassination with the homies? Come on, it's for the good of Rome, right? Wrong. Ete brut. Uh, Julius Caesar? I don't know, maybe this one? The first one sounded more like it would have pictures. Yeah, maybe. Let's try the first one then. Here you go. Ha! Huh, looks like you did not manage to find something for this person! Are you kidding me? Where are the illustrations? I don't know, lady! For now, they're done shopping, but maybe they'll pick... They'll come back another time. My bad. Freaking picky people. I only had three options, though. What about this one? Here, maybe we can get one. <laughs> Ah, oh, retirement is the best. <laughs> oh, that's nice. I want a book about growing up, and I'd love to read something classic. Also, I want something with a lot of pages. Okay, so big book, classic, a book about growing up? Okay. Maybe a fact book then, not a classic, because, wait, where was the book? I don't know, like these could be classics maybe. Like this is written by George Orwell. I don't know. Uh, okay, maybe one of these about growing up. Uh, it's an investigative biography. I don't think that would work. Uh, it tells us time about fighting fascists. No, not quite. Hmm. That one said a story of childhood. Wait, which one said a story of child? Oh, this one? I mean, I... It's possible. It has 160 pages. Is that a lot, though? This one is more. Let's see. Mm, not quite. No. No. This one's about travel, so no. This one's murder. Uh, this one's a kid's one. The power of friendship. I don't think so. This is all drama. Would the Odyssey be something about growing up? <laughs> what are the purple ones? Fantasy? I don't think fantasy would work. I don't think any of these would work. Wait, what about this one? Sense and Sensibility has a lot of pages. I would say that's a classic. And it's kind of about growing up. <laughs> it's more about love. The Duke of Hastings? Wait, is this Bridgerton? <laughs> you choose this time? Okay.
I don't know. I don't think I have anything for this person. I don't I don't think I have any for thing. How about this? The story of childhood. Here. I can't think. What? It worked? Jai. The subtitle, it worked. <laughs> you may have found someone's favorite book. No way. What? Sweet. Such a sweet story about growing up. It worked! <laughs> 160 pages is a lot? Okay. I guess that can be. What the heck? Whatever. It worked out. We did it. That was fun. So you don't have to always look for like, like this style, you know? Like the genre doesn't mean, cause he said classic and that was a fact book, not classic. So we have to look outside. Yeah, I know. I don't think 160 sounded a lot, like a lot for me either. <laughs> All right, let's go to the beach next, but I'm gonna change my books. No! Are you kidding me? Dang it, okay, I liked it. We hope you enjoy your stay in Bookstonebury. Dang it. Well, I guess that's good timing. But this was cute. What did y'all think of the, what did y'all think of the game? Y'all can be honest if you didn't like it. Or if you did like some aspects, I'd like to know. I want to do, I want to do some like reviews and stuff of like these games I play and like add them on TikTok and stuff. Wait, can you keep playing? Wait, can I keep playing? Let's do this. Maybe valuable. I need to get rid of these. Oh, I, I think I can keep playing. Dang. Oh, no. You can buy stuff, though. Burrow Hills, Rye, Bookstone, Proper, Time, Bookstone Bay, Far Beach. Looks like they can add more if they wanted to. Interesting. All right, well, that was cute. Okay, let's try Lost End Co. Also, can I have somebody here be responsible for letting me know when 2 p.m. comes up? <laughs> I'm the type of person that gets lost uh, with time. Here, actually, let me do this. Um, maybe, like, warn me, like, five minutes. 10 minutes before. Um, okay, let's see. Um, I'd rather not. Lost and Found Co. Let me change my category. This week, we might just focus on all the demos that are out. I do want to try the Reiko one. I'm going to write that down. <laughs> These are so good. <sighs> oh, I honestly thought they had a demo too, but I guess since it's out, maybe they got rid of it. Maybe it did have a demo before. I'm not sure. All right, let's try Lost and Found Co. May Shrine. Quack, quack. Camera controls. Drag. Uh, and scroll. Got it. Tutorial complete. That was easy. Wait, the crow one, are you talking about that one, Jai? Um, where did that duck, oh, shoot. Where did that duck go? I have to find the sleeping duck. Sorry, I was moving my camera so I wasn't in the way. Um, finally to complete the level. The duck? 
If you're stuck, you can always tap the icon to view a hint, okay? Try tapping on it, okay? Just chilling in the pond. Easy, right? Now let's find the duck. Oh, right there. I'm done! I love this art style. I like it. It's cute. There you are, you lazy little duck. Quack. Quack. You know what I could go for right now? A delicious roast duck. Oh, God. <laughs> Jeez. No! The tormenting. What the heck? Lost and found co. No, please don't make me a roast duck. Ducky. Mm, I'm just a poor duck. Let me go. Ducky, wake up. So she transformed this duck into a human. She actually made the roast duck. Mm. Wake up. Ah. Listen up. We just got our first. <gasps> what? Are you okay, goddess? Oh, not this pathetic form again. Don't worry, goddess. I think you look cute like this. Cute? How dare you call me cute? I'm a mighty dragon. This is... I like it. I like it. There's story. Well, I don't even really know if you would call what do you call this story. I, I think it's good for our company to have a, a memorable mascot. What? I'm the boss here, not a mascot. Yes, of course. Anyway, we just got our first request. What? Really? Yeah, I'm surprised people actually want us to find things for them. So what does it say? Let's see. Our client will be waiting for us at the candy shop in Old Plumville. Look at the glasses. I like the animation. Looks like an axolotl more than a dragon. Kind of does. I think it's the pink. Wait, did you just say candy? Hold that duck though right there. We don't have money, remember? Aw, when will I get to eat anything other than leftover bread? <laughs> then stop whining and get ready already. We don't want to be late for our first job. Okay, okay. Candy, clear the first request in story mode. Let's play story mode. Okay, so they do have, they have story mode. Story mode. Their first ever request is not something May expected when the client turns out to be a little kid. Okay, play. Ah. Did you know some doors aren't locked? Good to know. Hi, Cole. Thanks for the four month resub. There's the little kid. Okay, that's adorable. Ooh. Whoa, Kylie Bot. Somebody's excited to see you, Cold. <laughs> oh my God. Whoa, you guys are real? I thought the fine stuff service was just a joke. Wait, you are telling me this kid is our client? Let, let's try talking to him first, goddess. You talk to him then. Um, Mr. Customer, can you tell us what you're looking for? Snacks, of course, loads of them. Listen, kid, I'm a mighty goddess. I don't have time for your childish games. C calm down. But I have this. You can... <laughs> You guys want this coin, right? I'll give it. I'll give you this if you can bring me all the rare snacks from that shop. Goddess, I think we need that. Hmm. So you guys in? I like the the little bubble sound effects when they talk. Fine, we'll do it. Awesome. Let's get inside. Wait, Ducky. Yes, since you have to run around searching the whole place anyway, why not try talking to some folks, see if they need a hand? They will probably give us something in return. It's like killing two birds with one stone. No, please don't kill the birds. 
It's an idiom. Here, take this notebook and get on with it already. Hmm. Find rare snacks. Okay. Chat, if you see it, let me know. I'll tend to look for the ones that are like hidden um, under my webcam. Um, there's a pelican. What the heck? What the heck is that? Oh, what did I do? What is that? That's terrifying. I took a photo of it. <laughs> what the heck is that? <laughs> cool. Oh, look at the ducks. Eee! Everything is interact. You can interact with. Oh my god! Well, <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> the second one is a top is on top of the red drink cooler. Oh, you're right here. What game is this? It's called Lost and Found Co. How dare you? I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> what? Oh, here's a. Oh, that's not it. That's not the ramen, eh? I love, I love this. I love, this is so detailed. I love detailed games like this. I like a little frog. Oh, I dropped more candy. This guy loves cats. This is me. This is me. <laughs> Murder and mayhem in a loss and found game. I know, right? Who knew? Do they know that this cat... Do they know that this cat is not a real person? Oh, I found the drink. Sorry, to be honest, I'm just literally, what the heck? It's a cat mermaid. Oh, he looks tired. Hey. Ooh, I like that. It's an apple. I love this. Okay, um uh okay, let me get serious. Okay, where is the pocky? Oh here. Found it. Oh, I found three. Oh, what's that? Hmm, is something wrong, goddess? I'm sensing a strange energy coming from this thing. Energy? Whoa, the cover is shaking. What? A cake just came out of it, but it looks kind of pale. Ha! There, there's no mistaking it. That is the cursed spirit disguised as a cake. Cursed spirit? Correct. It is a spirit that brings all sorts of bad luck. We call it juju. Ah, juju. <laughs> juju, huh? Can we still eat it? You duck brain. I just said it's a cursed spirit. Hurry up and capture it and don't even think about putting it in your mouth. There might be a few more jujus hiding around here. Keep your eye out for objects that have their color stripped away and are glitching. Okay. How do you capture it? Oh. Juju is an optional objective. They're all, they're all, they are disguised. There are... Disguised as typical objects, but are colorless, glitching, and dirty. Juju brings bad luck. Help capture them to take, or to keep people happy. Capture Juju can be used to reveal an extra hint. Don't hesitate to use them if you ever get stuck. Oh, that's nice. Okay. There. Got one. 
Um, this is a clicky game for people with ADHD. I love that. I like this too. Caramel apple thing is above Obasan. Ah! Yeah! I love that boy with the yellow shirt and glasses is a clear reference to Nobita and the blue cat with a pocket. Wait, where, where, where? The boy with the yellow shirt. This one? Or you mean, oh, you mean this! Oh, you think it's a reference to Doraemon? Oh, maybe. Do y'all think so too? Typo found. It's, I, I didn't mean to find a typo. I thought I was reading it wrong. <laughs> hey, this is a demo, okay? All right, we need to find this purple can. Oh, I like that. Oh, look, I found this. Thing. I don't know what that is. Oh, a bird. Oh my god. Uh, David, are you still here? Look what I did. I clicked on the bird on this telephone pole and it turned to chicken. <laughs> I feel so bad. Um, seems legit that cat, the cat matches. What cat? What cat? Oh, look. Oh, I found another juju. Okay, how many are there? Oh, there's one more. Do y'all see the other Juju as well? Next to the boy, it matches Dormon colors. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at the, look at the, <laughs> look at the, ba the belly. Boing, 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 boing. I bet we need to find these candies later. Oh, man, this, this makes my brain happy. I like this. Oh, it's a snail. What's this? Oh, not that. Okay, where's this darn can? Are they there? Um, maybe I need to go over. Oh, what's that? I found the last one. Yeah. What's the goal for this? Um, the I guess the main goal. Oh shoot, you can't see it. But my main goal is to find these things at the bottom. Um, but I guess there, I wish I could, sorry, my camera's in the way, but apparently there's like other things like experience paranormal activity, wake the kid up, spot the big black cat, which I did earlier. I don't know what kid needs to be. Oh, oh, this kid. Oh, let's drop an apple. Oh, okay. So yeah, there's just other little objective experience paranormal activity. How do we do that? Oh. Do y'all think there's any other references? What, what would be a paranormal thing? Like a ghost? Do y'all see a ghost? Is that a ghost? Maybe in the bushes? Oh, and Juju's. Yeah, it's like, I don't, I don't know. There's like tons of things. I mean, it's mainly, I guess the overall objective is just finding things. I bet there's more. I don't know if I'll notice them though. <gasps> what's that? Oh, no. Well, what's a paranormal activity? Uh. Oh. Oh. We can go inside. It's so dark in here. Oh, you're you scaredy duck. Just turn on the lights. Where's the light? Oh, like that. Cool. Oh. There was 
a kid here. Oh, we did it. <laughs> the heck? <laughs> the heck? Ooh, I like these. Do we see the purple? Purple can anywhere? Okay. Oh, maybe in here? No. Okay. <laughs> Where's that stupid purple can? What just happened in there? Pretend we didn't see anything. <laughs> Where's this purple can? Is it here? No. Sound like it. Wow, this one's well hidden. They literally do not know. All the other ones were easy to find. Oh, well, maybe I have to click. Ah! Oh, I had to click this! And then it popped out. You see a book moving by itself? Where? Kenta. No way! I can't believe you guys found all of them. This snack, it was mom's favorite. She used to buy it for me and my little sis. They don't sell it anymore. How did you get it? Well, Granny still has it in her... Shush, duck. No need to tell him everything. Let's say it's oh, it's our business secrecy. Now hand over that coin. Cool, I'm gonna tell my friends all about you. Nice. Gotta go catch you guys later. Did it. In the room, book pages were turning by themselves. Dang it, I guess I can't keep looking once you're done once you do the main objective. <gasps> Aww! We got all the snacks for his friend that's in the hospital. What the that is a whole summer? <laughs> I'm glad this game is more than just finding the objects. Yeah, I'm honestly shocked, shocked in a good way. Pleasantly surprised. Oh, I'm not done. I'm writing notes down because I want to I want to do a review on all these games I'm playing today. Uh, so wait, you said there was a book. Oh, this book. Oh, it doesn't do anything, though, but this is cool, though. <laughs> is there any more? I think, yeah, I think I, I did all of them. Oh, look, I can scroll it down. Okay. Okay, we can leave now. Never call May cute. <laughs> Sigh. Who would have thought finding those snacks would be such a pain? Ugh. I just want to go back and... What time is it again? No! I just missed my favorite show! Oh well, at least we got our job done properly. I did most of the work though. Well then, not bad for your first job, duck. So, I have to keep doing this, right? Find people's stuff, make them happy? Exactly. That's the duty of us goddesses. Um, for how long? Until I gain enough fame to go back to heaven. Aww. What? Are you complaining? N no. You don't want to end up as a roast duck, right? Er oh, maybe that's why we had the roast bird. <laughs> right? I'm sure you'll taste great as a roast duck. No, I taste bad. Like, very bad. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, look, another request coming in. Let's see. This time we have to find a missing captain. Captain? What is that? I think I've heard it somewhere before. They are the people who command the ship to cross the ocean, river, or even sky. Oh, does that mean we're going up to the sky? Nah, uh, it'll be the ocean this time. Whoa, a migrating duck once told me about the ocean, but I've never seen a real one before. Then this is your lucky day. Our destination will be O Shrine Isle, a lovely place to drink and mingle with fun folks. Sounds like you know that place. Have you been there before? Uh, just say that I often had to go there for business. You know, I am a busy goddess after all. Ha ha ha. 
business, I see. Um, anyway, we need to go on our way. Prepare yourself. That place sure is packed. I can tell you it won't be easy. Yes. Let's go. Look at this. Look at all the different things. Can I click? Oh, I can click in here. Oh, I can click. I can click here. Click, click, click. Do you think that's a reference? No, right? What was on the TV? What TV? Oh, this? Oh, oh no. Did I break it? No, I broke the TV! What if I go out and come back in? <laughs> no, I broke it. I broke the TV! I'm sorry. Oh! <laughs> can you go upstairs? No. You can open stuff. I love that. <gasps> oh, what's this? Mailbox. Thanks a bunch for helping me find those rare snacks. My sister was so happy. She's all better now. Oh my god, it was her sister in the hospital, not his friend. <laughs> that makes it even sadder. <laughs> all right. Ooh, look at the little duck with the rose. Ooh, I like when objects do this. Okay, I should probably focus. All right, clear the missing captain. How do I, oh, I, oh. Wait, what's this? Oh, there's more. So you have requests. Runaway foxes, and then tea time troubles. Oh, you can choose like difficulty. There's easy, normal, hard, and chaos. Chaos. Should we do the main story or should we try a request chat? And what is this? Journal, Milestone, Juju, Renovate. <gasps> oh, I guess this is our office. Oh, we can, ch ooh, we can change it. Ooh. Ooh, I like the Japanese style. Oh, cool. <laughs> I'll do this one. Oh my god, you can change so much. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, let's do that. Oh, this is the door. <laughs> let's do that one. Oh, and then that has to match. Cool. <laughs> What the heck? I'm guessing you can get more stuff as you keep playing. Okay, so that's our office. Got it. What is this? Shrine? Dimension? Well, what? Whoa! What is this? These are all locked. Oh, and there's something inside here. It does have a lot of cool elements. Oh, okay, so it takes you, oh, it takes you back here. Got it, okay. I wanna do a request, let's do a request. Let's do, let's do a normal one. The Tea Time Troubles is normal. Kit is on a journey looking for his furry friends in the, in the Sacred Fox Valley. So there's three juju, six side quests, and then eight main objectives. Poking around might help you discover some secrets. Run away, foxes. Find all objectives. Okay, so we have to find all of these foxes. Oh, I love that. 
Okay, what is our side quest? Spot unique wild animals, eight. Uh, make offering to the fox god. Rescue the trapped fox. Find the hidden mandrake. Save the fox from bees. Greet the mountain yeti. And then find three juju. Okay, if y'all see something, say something. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can turn the lights on. Okay, well, here's one fox. I don't think that counts, though. <gasps> this one does, though. This one. Found you. I have little cutscenes. Can I, like, click the bu bushes and something pops out? Maybe. What's this? Oh, is that offering to the fox god? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Make offering to the fox god. Oh, here's a deer. Spot unique wild animal. It's an owl. Is this not one? No. Oh, there's a tiger. Does that count? It's a bug. <gasps> a monkey! Hot Springs monkey! Ooh, what's this? An Easter egg? Okay, we need this, this one. The squirrel doesn't count as a unique. Poor squirrel. Did I click on that one? <laughs> the bunny? The bunny makes that sound? It's kind of hard to click on some of them. Oh my god, look at the bunny and the turtle. Oh my god, that's kind of a reference, right? The hare and the turtle. <laughs> the fish. What is that? Oh, it's a cat. Okay, where's the fish you're talking about? Ooh. Ooh. I don't see a fish. Oh my god, what is this? <gasps> what happened to his tail? Do I do I have to get them rescue the trap fox? I guess it's not trapped. Oh, here's the white one. Looking on the outskirts. Okay, let's... Wait, let me go back. Oh, is that one trapped? No. <laughs> uh, the fish up left, it was huge. Oh, this thing! What the heck is that? Oh, I turn the light on. Oh, there's a kite. Nice little hiker. <gasps> Is this from Up? Is that from Up? That's from Up, isn't it? The balloon and his outfit and the grandpa. Oh my god. It's from Up. That's cute. <laughs> what in the world? Ooh, onigiri. Ooh, I like these sound effects. Oh my god, look at this frog. <laughs> look at the frog! It's a standing frog. Aww. Is, is that not this one? Oh, it has a bandana. Or it needs a bandana. Oh, they're making, they're making offerings. <laughs> oh, that's cute. <laughs> oh my god! I love this! Oh, look at the lovebirds! 
Ah! Get it! Lovebirds! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, you said exactly what I thought. Oh, here's the- here's the dog. Or the fox. Sad fox. If y'all see references, I don't know. Let me know. Oh, I got another one. I freaking love that. It's so cute. It's about to start 10 minutes. Oh, darn it. I'm having a lot of fun playing this. Um, let's keep going. We'll, we'll put us, we'll stop, um, for Ubisoft forward. And we can always come back and play more. Do we know how long Ubisoft forward, uh, showcase show, whatever we call it? Do you know, do we know how long it'll last? Whoa, that's, is that his tail? Look at the grandma. Oh. <laughs> no darn kids. Oh, look at the chicken. Oh, wait, what about this one? This one's not a juju. Oh, there is one. Oh no, he's trapped! There we go. <laughs> What's this? Nothing? Aww. The entire stream has put me in the best mood. Aww. That makes me happy. I'm glad. Oh, Juju. Oh, no. No. I guess at least an hour. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Oh no, what happened to this one? Oh no, this one's tagged by bees. Oh, save them. Save them. <laughs> there we go. Stay away from the bees, sir. Oh, a horse. Oh, this duck. They're like, what the heck was that? <laughs> oh, here's another fish. Oh, I guess they're koi. That would make sense. <gasps> A proposal! Did they drop it? Oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> for a second I was like, did they drop it in the water? Okay. <laughs> What is he doing? Spot unique wild animals. Okay. What is that? Oh my god! Oh, that's the Yeti! <laughs> A panda! Is that Kung Fu Panda? Oh, look at that! That's cute. Oh, I found this one. Look at the panda. Do you know, right? Not Kung Fu Panda, but he has pants on and he has the hat on. I think that's a reference. I think so. Um, there's one more fox I need to find. What else? Oh, I need to find the hidden mandrake. What's a... What's a mandrake look like again? The only ones I can think of are the ones from like Harry Potter. Oh, just kidding. Found it. <laughs> just kidding. Oh, I found all the jujus too. All right, last but not least is this fox. I, I have a no idea. Um... Oh, how cute. Um, did y'all see it? It's a white fox with a yellow nose, yellow paws, and orange tail, and tip of it, of his tail is orange. Kind of like this one. Hmm. <laughs> the plant creature, I know. Um, this is a dog. <laughs> uh, <gasps> so 
Something's moving. Should I ask for a hint? Because apparently I can get a hint. Should I ask for a hint? It's hiding right by the shrine. Oh, uh, the shrine. Oh, the fox shrine. This one? This one? Oh, shoot, it's 155. Oh, no! Here, ask for a hint. Coco is a bit silly. He always thinks himself a chicken. Oh, the chickens! Where's the chickens? Ah, uh, where's the chickens? I- Oh, chicken! Ah, oh, right here! <laughs> Yay, we did it. How cute. <laughs> Ew, you were right, Becca! Okay, freaking, freaking cute. <laughs> that was fun. All right, we will stop playing this game for for now. Just took a little, took a minute. <laughs> Hold on, let me turn it down. There we go. That's better. There we go. Is that better? Cute! 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 24 hour clock. <laughs> I can't read 24 hour, but that's good that it has that. Show HUD numbers. Wireless. Okay. 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 Let's go back. I don't want to exit. All right. Let's play it. It's cute. Cute game. Cute farming game. With dating. <clears throat> Cozy vibes. Ooh, cutscene. Who's this girl? Island. Still working, sis? Oh, island. Adeline and island. I didn't realize how late it had gotten. Oh, wait, also, um, hold on, let me... Maybe here would be better? No, I'll do this. This is fine. Maybe, well, no, I don't have my little update here. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, chat, hold on, hold on. Okay, let's go here. There we go. Uh, I thought you could use a nice hot cup of coffee. Thank you. Cozy vibes already. So how is the town revitalization plan coming along? Also, hold on one second, guys. Sorry, wait, it, mute, it mutes itself when I click off. I wonder if there's a way that we can fix that when, the, when I play. Oh, no, it's okay. Uh, when, when, I, when the game officially comes out. I don't like when it mutes when I click to the side. Uh, so how is the town really gonna come along? Um, it's nearly there, I think. I've cataloged the earthquake's damage, listed out the various repairs necessary, and even made plans to replenish our emergency stockpile by the end of spring. The only thing we're missing now is the help to see it through. With mother and father called away to the capital and people leaving after the earthquake, there certainly are fewer hand helping hands around. If only we could attract new villagers to move here. Dis disable pause on unfocus. Is that a setting? Mystria is such a beautiful place. The small town charm, the rich history of the area, the rolling farmland. That's it! The old farm south of town! <laughs> Music. Oh, it is an option. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll check it out after. <laughs> Why don't we send a notice to the Adventurers Guild in the capital? Surely someone out there will agree to aid the town in exchange for land with such potential. That's a great idea. I'll get started on it. Thank you, Island. I wonder who will answer the call. If 
I could jump in the screen, I would. I'm so sad this game's not out yet. It's not out yet. Character customization. Ooh. 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 Ooh, there's a lot of options. Okay. So we can put on little ha Oh! We can have little hats. Oh my god, it's a beret. A witch hat, hair accessories. Ah! Ah! Cute. What is this? Oh, a hijab? Ribbons? Looks like horns. <laughs> a cloth helmet. <laughs> oh, this is cool. What do I want? I want. I want the. I want this. I don't know what color. Let's do green. And then I can get. Oh, I can have blush. <laughs> okay, we can have different hair. They have short, medium, and long. Oh my goodness. I I want this hair that I have, but let's do brown. Cute. Oh, and there's different eyes. I want this one with blue. Where's blue? I can't really tell. Maybe this one? Okay, yeah. I can have a beard. Nice. <laughs> what is this? Skin tone? That's pretty much mine, but that's good. Sleeveless tall. Oh, I like, I like this. Whatever I'm wearing. What is that? Cloth chest piece. Oh, I don't want that. I want, I want this. Oh, yeah, yellow. Yeah. And then backpack. Oh, pants. But I'm wearing a skirt or a dress. So I don't need pants. And these are the shoes. <laughs> okay. Cute. Oh, here I can put my name. Okay. Oh, you can say your pronouns? Oh, wow. She and her. Spring 25. Oh, fairy farm. I love how they have farm in the title. So then you know you don't have to just put fairy farm farm. It reminds you of like, oh, Game Boy Advance, like, yeah, it does. Pets, not available yet, but there are pets. Cute, I'm gonna make, hold on, I'm gonna make my character have, no, I think I like yellow, just kidding. Okay, I'm ready, start. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Cute. Ooh. A ballot. A mirror. Hello there. You named yours Fields of Despair. It was f funny reading that on the signs. Wow. Didn't expect to see anyone else out this way. The roads have been a real mess since the earthquake. Um, one second. Uh, and I'm Ballora, a traveling merchant. Please to meet you. Let me guess, you're here at Lady Adeline's request. She mentioned someone had taken her up on her offer. She said she's looking for a capable adventurer. There was something about free land and a house. <laughs> no offense, but that is exactly, yes. That is what I would totally move here for. A free house, man, can you imagine? I've seen the area, it's a lovely spot, quite close to town. I'll walk with you to the rest of the way. If you don't mind the company, no wagons can get through since the bridge collapsed, so I've had to carry what I can on foot. Great, let's go. Cute. Woo! 
We should be able to make it before it gets dark. Come on, we'll head straight to your new farmstead. Lord Island, look who I found out at the edge of the forest. Found at. Kylie, I presume. Welcome, welcome. I'm Island. It's wonderful to meet you. You're in good hands, Kylie. I'm off to the inn. It's been a long day and I need a hot meal. I'll see you around. Oh. Okay, then. So, what do you think? Nice, isn't it? You're right outside of town. Great soil for farming. Oh, is this my... Oh, and look at this house. Four stout walls with a rich history. Let's go inside, shall we? Stout walls. Oh, goodness. Ah! J just a minute! Oh, she kicked me out. It uh, appears we're not quite ready for you, but not to worry. I'm sure she'll only need a moment. <laughs> I'm used to roughing it, honestly. <laughs> no need! Oh! <laughs> She's making it pretty for me. Look how cute. You must be Kylie. I'm Adeline. Thank you so much for answering my request. My brother and I are so excited to have a real adventurer here to help the town. I hope you like your new farm. It has a lot of potential, don't you think? Why don't you come inside? layout looks familiar. How cozy! I'm glad you think so. Would you like a quick tour of the room? Uh, sure. Wonderful. Like, my bed has, my pillow has a face. <laughs> this here is your diary. You can write in it when you want to record your story in case save. And this, of course, is your new bed. Make sure Make sure you get to sleep by 2 a.m. each day to keep your stamina up. We've also put this calendar up for you. You can use it to check when Mystria holds its festivals and to check when everyone is in town's birthdays are. Okay. It does. It, it is like a cool style RPG. Sort, sort of JRPG. All right, and this storage chest here was made by Mystery's very own carpenter, Rias. Rias? You can store items here in your bag if your bag starts to get full. And that's about it for your tour. I thought you might be hungry when you got here, so I stopped by the inn and picked up a bowl of the or of their famous vegetable soup. Well, I'm sure you're you're worn out from your long day. We won't keep you up. Welcome to Mystria, Kylie. We're so glad to have you. Let's meet up tomorrow so we can start discussing our plans for the town restoration. Okay. My character looks like... <laughs> so young and cute. <laughs> Go to bed! Wow, I got a house. Exactly. My reaction, exactly. My hat matches my bed. Cute. Next Fest demo. Welcome to Fields of Mystria. This demo features the first three days of the game with some adjustments. There are some tools and bonus items in your storage chest to get you started. Oh. The mines have been unlocked early so you can explore them. Two magic spells have also been unlocked early for you to try. Mana restores a little each day. The full restore spell has been pinned for you. The growth spell can be pinned from your journal. Okay, so there so I'm guessing in the main story you unlock these eventually, but they're just giving them to us. Nice. Okay. Cool. How do I, yes, yeah, save. 
Nice. What day is it? The first day. Unimplemented festival on the 17th and 24th. And that's my birthday! Oh, I guess nobody has a birthday in spring. Only me. Haha. <laughs> that's me. Oh, you can see all the festivals they're going to have. <gasps> Halloween. So it goes up to the 28th. It was a cow festival. Oh, close. Okay. Uh, let's take this. Oh, pickaxe. What is this? War net fishing pole. Uh, some stone and wood. I'll keep those in there for right now. Use this item to increase your inventory by 10. Oh, heck yeah. How do I do that though? What is this? A mana potion? Okay, I'll take that. What is it? Tastes like blueberries. Um, there we go. Oh, there you have to right click and hold it. Oh, my inventory has been increased. Oh, there we go. I have one slot, two areas here. Okay, can I turn on the fire? Oh, nice. All right, let's keep going. <gasps> Celine, hello. You must be Kylie, I'm Celine, it's nice to meet you. I live in the cottage north of here. So we live close to her. It saves after sleeping too. It will update as you meet people. You can change the scale of the game to zoom out. Let's do that. It does feel rather zoomed in, doesn't it? Giant. <laughs> it's true, we had a TV. <laughs> Whoa, exotic, hello. This looks cozy it is cute so far and cozy i'm so excited that we'll be neighbors in fact i brought you a little housewarming um field warming present here is a hoe you'll need it to till your fit your, your fields i love gardening myself so i had this extra one laying around if you want to expand your field size though you'll need a shovel they're available at my family's general store okay of course you're the general store daughter you. Tulips. Here are three bags of tulip seeds to get you started. Our store also carries a selection of other seeds, so be sure to stop by. I hope you'll consider growing lots of flowers. I'm more into potatoes? <laughs> that would definitely be me. <clears throat> oh, did you know that potato plants flower too? You'll actually be able to tell that they're ready to harvest when their flowers bloom. Ooh, there's a horse and a guy on it. Oh, Hayden. Oh my God. The sound effect. <laughs> Morning neighbor, the name's Hayden. I run Sweetwater Farm to the west. You don't gotta tell me your name, Kylie. You're already the talk of the town. Hayden, you almost galloped straight into poor Kylie. Ah, uh, don't mind my horse. He just likes meeting new folks as much as I do. Kyahaha. It's fine. Pleasure's all mine, Hayden. I'm just kidding. He's too hairy for me. A farmer after my own heart. Here, I brought you a little something. Take this watering can. You'll need to water your crops every day if you want them to grow big and strong. And here are three bags of turnip seeds. Turnips are good raw are good raw and they're even better cooked. The whole town will surely appreciate more shipments of fresh produce. We're so popular already, I know, right? It's been a good while since I've been out here. Things sure have gotten overgrown. You need any pointers on getting started with your field? Uh, sure, I'd love some tips. Uh, use your hoe on cleared field areas to till the soil. Plant seeds on the tilled soil tiles. Water your crops every day until they are fully grown. Harvest your crops. You can purchase a shovel from the general store when you want to expand your fields. Sell, cook, or even feed your crops to your animals. Okay. Now don't be shy come by anytime if you want to chat i'd love to introduce you to all my animals i'm sure you must be eager to meet up with adeline just head north of here and the road will take you right into town okay let's 
simple enough. Um, let's get started. What is this? Vegetable soup? Let's put that stuff down here. I wonder what... I wonder how mining and stuff is gonna be in fighting. Okay, so... Where is my stamina? Oh, it's up here. Okay, hold on, let me... Oh yeah, I need to also fix that... Option, where's the options? Oh, here we go. Ooh. There we go. These are my quests. Villagers. She's single. Oh, it shows you all the ones that are single. She's a town leader. Oh, it tells you about them too. Archaeologist. Ooh, look at all the people we get to meet. Oh, and it shows you here, I guess, all their loved and liked gifts. Animals. Magic spells. We got full restore. It's a healing. Restores all your stamina and HP when cast. Okay, that's really nice, actually. Um, growth. Also, yay, when I click off to the side, that fixed it. I like that. Um, growth. Farming. Fully grows crops in a 3x3 three three area when cast. It can also progress, oh, progress tree growth by one stage. Oops. Nice. And they're both pinned. Or wait, no, I can pin them. Oh wait, I can only pin one. We'll do this, this one. Okay. Uh, this is the map. Okay. Okay. Oh, it shows all the people. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh my god. We always have to have an overlook with a tree. <laughs> okay. Love it. Wow, this is a... Uh, oh, that's locked. Oh, it shows you up here. Oh, okay. What is this? The almanac. Okay, so this is where you can collect all, you can collect everything and it keeps track of it all. Nice. Okay. All right. Um, let's, what is that? How do I get rid of this? Uh, maybe the sword? Oh, there we go. So we're going to plant some tulips. Oh, this seems really easy. I always messed up in other games when I put stuff down. Okay, let's water all of this. What is that? Is that experience maybe? Here, how about we do our magic spell? Oh, there he goes. Oh, it shows the area too. Oh shoot, we're done. Could be given as a gift or used in various crafting. Oh, look, it also shows like the price. Cool. Oh, they sell for 40. Well, gosh dang, <laughs> easy. <laughs> All right, we need more, we need more uh, seeds and stuff. Oh, I guess this is where we ship our things. And then is this where we get more water? Okay, I think so. Look at all of this. They already have flowers. Wow, yeah, this is pretty big. Oh, that's a, this is a pretty big. This is a pretty big farm, guys. Okay, all right, let's go to town. She said north, right? Oh God. We got it. We got. We gotta get back. There we go. <laughs> oh, zoom out. Yeah. How do we zoom out? Let's see. Um. Let's see. How do we zoom out? Should be in the options. Okay. Um. Wow.
Oh goodness, this is... Well, oh, okay. Okay. Wow, I like this. What's that? Is that a cherry blossom tree? Wow! <laughs> wow, this one, maybe, maybe this one's a little too zoomed out. Let's, yeah, let's bring it down to maybe two. Okay, yeah, that's better. Ah! <laughs> what is the slap sound effect? <laughs> All right, what is this? Oh, greed. Oh, it shows the farm. Oh, okay. Ooh, can I pick this up? Harvest. Oh, I'm taking that. Oh, it's a dandelion. Nice. All right, let's go introduce ourselves. Ooh, can we get the whatever this is in the bush? Oh, we can. Wild berries. Ooh. Right. What does this say? There are no events today. What is this? Oh, Balor's wagon. Oh, he sells wood, stone, sh char shard mass, clay, and cattail fluff. Wait, so we can buy stuff even if he's not here in the cart? Crafting scroll. A moon gate. Oh, it shows you, like, what it looks like, too, and the colors. Cool. Oh, here's some accessories. Pirate boots, stud earrings, headband, reading glasses. Oh, these are all food. Mushroom brew, grilled corn, sushi platter. Oh, it looks like they have a star, a star ranking on the food. A baked potato and some lavender tea. Oh, that sounds great. Makes this tea a sophisticated drink. Awesome. And I guess this is just a uh, random middle mist. Okay. Nice. Wow. Okay. He sells a lot of different stuff. Who's that? What's a, what is that? Oh, God. Oh, I caught it. It's a praying mantis. Oh, you can catch bugs. Right, that's what the net's for. I didn't realize I had the net active. <gasps> Who's this? Oh, this is Celine. Settled in yet? Remember, I am just up the road if you need an extra pair of hands. Oh, I I like that I can, I love how it's zoomed out now. It looks so much better. Oh, is this her house? Can we read her diary? Oh, no. I don't think we can do anything in here. All right, let's go. I don't know, talk to people. Oh, cutscene. Hi there, I was hoping I'd run into you. Your timing is perfect. I'm sure you're eager to start helping Mistria and its citizens, so I'm here to tell you all about our town's request board. Come with me. As the name implies, villagers post their requests here every day. You'll receive rewards whenever you complete them. Love me a request board. As the name, oh wait, uh, uh, it's a great way to earn money, equipment, and most importantly, renown. Renown? Ah, oh, yes, let me explain the basics. As you know, Mistria is just one of the many towns that make up the kingdom of Aldaria. All of them receive a town rank according to their renown level. Towns with a higher town rank enjoy more popularity and support from the capital. Okay, so we gotta make the town popular. Sounds good to me. Mysteria's renown level was improving prior to the earthquake. Since then though, we're down an entire town rank. As daughter and heiress to Mysteria's Baron, improving this situation is my highest priority. With your help, we'll pre repair the earthquake's damage, raise Mysteria's town rank, and put this village back on the map. Why don't you go ahead now and accept my first request? It's one I just put up for you. It kind of reminds me of Room Factory had these things called princess points, and princess points were what you used to like create um, like festivals and stuff for the town. Um, or start things. I mean, it had other stuff too, but I wonder if that's similar. Maybe it's different. Greet the townsfolk. I'm sure you've met some of your neighbors already, but wouldn't it be nice to say hello to everyone? Don't be shy. Introduce yourself. Introduce yourself to all the townsfolk and then talk to Adeline. Your map can help you locate everyone. 
22 people. Potato seeds. Oh, so the money is called Tesserae. Oh, cool. Tesserae. Perfect. That was easy, right? I'm sure you want to meet your new neighbors as much as they want to meet you. And as you get to know them better, your journal can keep track of your relationships with them and even document their favorite gifts. What do you like, Adeline? Well, tulips are nice and they're in season right now. I hope you'll be growing some on your farm. You can view the map in your journal. It should give you a good idea where, where people are. Isn't that helpful? Yes. And each time you meet someone, it will update. That was my one big gripe with Stardew, is I had to download a mod to figure out where the heck all the people were. <laughs> you can think of this as the first step on our path to restoring the town. Isn't this exciting? Come talk to me once you're done meeting everyone. Wait, I want to give her a tulip. No. There's another quest I could get. Request for crayfish. Crawfish. Uh, could someone bring me a crawfish? We're getting low at the end. Valor wasn't able to include any in his latest shipment. They can be found in the dive spots that sometimes appear in rivers if you don't mind going for a swim. Oh, really? Interesting. Oh, bring crawfish to Josephine. Crawfish etouffee. Oh my god, I love crawfish etouffee. Okay. Alright, let's go in here. What's this place? The general store. That makes sense. Oh, here's Bellor. I'm glad I bumped into you. I forgot to mention. Oops, did I. Oh, make sure that you put anything that you want to sell into the shipping bin next to your house. I'll pick up your shipment and leave your payment overnight. The shops in this town depend on the stock I procure for them, so we're all looking forward to your business. Nora. I love that they I love that they saw crawfish or they say crawfish and not crayfish. Wait, with the what do you mean? I like how they spell it. <laughs> You must be Kyla. Welcome to Mystria. I'm Nora. I run the general store in town with my husband and our daughters. So, Celine's not the only daughter. I'm also head of the Chamber of Commerce and the Saturday Market. Though, unfortunately, the Saturday Market has been on hiatus since the earthquake caused the bridge into town into town to collapse. Whoa, 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 whoa. Valor is currently the only merchant that even attempts the trip these days, and he has to do it all on foot. Broken bridge? I think I can help. Oh, right! Adeline did say, or did mention you'd be helping the town in exchange for the farm. If the broken bridge were repaired, all sorts of merchants could pre resume bringing their wares to town on Saturdays. You'd love it. Anyway, if you need anything in the way of seeds and supplies, please stop by the store anytime. I love that we don't have to... So wait, can we even come here at nighttime, I wonder? We'll have to try it. Now time to go cook my food. Yummy. I forgot if you said what you were gonna make. Okay. Uh, turnip seed, potato seeds, cabbage seeds. I only have 500 gold right now. <gasps> Strawberry seeds. This can only be harvested once. Every three days. <laughs> yeah, good old strawberries. Daffodil. I guess it doesn't matter. This is a cherry sapling. Oh, it shows you right here how long. Five days, 14 days. Oh, so the trees are only 14 days. Okay, I'm gonna wait to buy stuff for right now just because I want to look around and see if there's anything else I want to buy. Oh, what's this? A worn shovel, 500. Potted plant, a scarecrow, a wheelbarrow, basic wood chest, and a shipping box. Wow, so you can just buy another shipping box. Nice, okay. 
Wait, what's this? Nothing. Oh wait, can I go in here? Oh, okay. Oh, I can just go into people's houses. Great. Holt! Oh, well, hello there. You must be the new face in town. Nice to meet you, Kylie. I'm Holt. I've been wondering who'd move in to the old farm. Ha ha ha. I'm pleased to meet you too, Holt. Love it. Oh no, my pa alerts are paused. Hi, Rayo. 10 years. Thank you, 120 months, Rayo. How are you doing? Chicken with a pesto sauce and pasta. Yum. It seems like, um, Titus also really liked my, uh, pun. Ha. Ha, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah, I know, exactly, Jack. <laughs> anywho, anywho, my wife Nora and I run the general store. Our girls, Celine and Del, help out as well. Stop by if you ever need supplies. So, oh, so I wonder what that other house was then. Can I, like, look? No? I wonder whose room that is. And whose room this is. A very different style. Oh, I can sleep in their bed. I'm gonna wait here and scare her when she comes. But I, this looks like a younger kid's room, so maybe it's Celine. Maybe Celine's the older sister. Just guessing. Alright, so there's the general store. Let's see, what is this store? Okay, oh, the inn, all right. What is the inn cell? Okay, all kinds of food. Mont Blanc, crab cakes, <gasps> seafood boil. Oh, I would like to have that right now. Ooh, chili coconut curry. Oh, look, and they have drinks. Lemonade, apple juice, some tea, hot toddy. Wow, we got some alcoholic drinks here. Coconut milk. Oh, and we got some recipes we can buy. Nice. Okay. Hemlock. Now, who do we have here? Are you the new farmer everyone's been talking about? Great to meet you, Kylie. I'm Hemlock. If you ever need a good meal, a cold drink, or some good company, be sure to stop by the Sleeping Dragon Inn. There's always a cauldron of hearty soup kept hot for someone who wants a bowl. Well, that's welcoming. Who's this? Oh, there's Celine. <laughs> I keep running into her. Reyna, she's cute. Her style reminds me of like Sailor Moon. Sailor Mini Moon. Oh, hello, you must be the new farmer. My name is Reyna. My family owns a Sleeping Dragon Inn. It's a pleasure to meet you. So what brings you to Mystria, if you don't mind me asking? Um, I've always dreamed of starting my own farm. Always. That's so lovely. I'm excited to see what types of produce you'll grow. I have a passion for food, especially when it's locally sourced. Well, I hope you'll stop by and try my cooking sometime. I'll be looking forward to it. Cute. Is this her mom? <laughs> Josephine. She's the one who needs crawfish. Hello there. Well, you must be our new farmer. Adeline mentioned you'd be arriving soon. <laughs> Delighted to meet you. You can call me Josephine, though. I also go by Joe. I run the Sleeping Dragon Inn with my husband, Henlock, and our children, Raina, Maple, and Luke. Have you met them all yet? Stop by any time, dear. You are always welcome whether you need a meal or just want to chat. Wholesome. It'd be my pleasure to serve up either. Oh, nice. Okay, so she has two other siblings, so let's see if we can find them nobody in here so maple and and luke Ooh, cute i'm guessing this is reyna's room i'm not sure or maybe this is reyna's room <laughs> or maybe this is reyna's room <laughs> i don't know <laughs> i don't know okay let's keep looking she winked at me? Raina did? Oh. Oh, here we go. Oh, there's Maple. Hi, are you the new farmer? My name's Maple. Where did you live before you came here? Have you ever been to the capital? That's where the royal family lives, you know. You can ask me anything. I know all about them. 
Oh, so this, okay, so that's Reyna's younger sister, and this is Celine's younger sister. Hello, are you the, or I think sister. Hello, are you the one moving to the old farm? I'm Del. That place is haunted, you know. Haunted with monsters. I swear I saw one hiding behind a tree. Let me know if you have any trouble and I can take care of them for you. Okay. Oh, and this is Luke. Ooh. Do I like bugs? Yes. Excellent. My name's Luke. I'm so excited to have a fellow insect enthusiast in town. Finally. Wait until I tell my sisters. <laughs> this is cute. What is this? Just uh, maybe a barn for horses, a stable. Ooh. Okay, we got a little house and oh, a swing. Nice. He's precious. Indeed. What is this? Oh, okay, can't get in. It looks like it's locked. It's already 4 p.m. Jeez. Oh, who's this? Oh, that's Island, isn't it? Hello, out exploring the town. A mystery has a number of historical sites you may come across on your travels. This area is a hot spot for archaeology, you know? If you notice any raised areas in the ground, try using a shovel or pickaxe on them. You never know what you might excavate. Do, does he mean like here? Oh, maybe not. <laughs> it didn't work. Ooh, blacksmith. My favorite type of people. Oh my goodness. Ooh, the music in here. Oh, like, here's all of the copper pickaxe stuff. Okay. Uh, ooh, and copper outfit. Copper ore. Everything copper. Nice. March! The name's March. What do you want? Oh, a man that's hard to get. <laughs> Charming. I'm Kylie, the new farmer in town. I don't see what that has to do with me. Regardless of what Adeline says, we never don't. We really don't need an outsider to come in and solve our problems for us. I, we have everything under control. Just don't get in the way. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Moody. <laughs> oh, whoa. Oh, Ulrich. Whoa, are you the new farmer everyone's been talking about? The one who's come to help out the town? That's super cool. Nice to meet you. He's nice. His name's Ulrich. My brother and I live at the blacksmith. I hope we can be friends. It. He's not single, chat. Not for long. Dang it, why does the moody one have to be the single one? I'm just kidding, I like that too. <laughs> Ooh, what is this? It's pink. Mistral ingot. Oh, you can get a pink pickaxe. You can make everything pink. Oh, but you can't have pink armor. <laughs> of course not. Cool. Okay, well that's where you make stuff. Okay, let's see where else. <laughs> Not single yet. <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> All right, whose house is this? It's a boat, I think. Oh, bathhouse. Oh, <gasps> it's y'all's favorite girl, Juniper. <laughs> Have you played Duck Detective yet? I have not. So, well, you're the newcomer, is that right? Well, Kylie, you, you can call me Juniper. I recently opened the one and only bathhouse in this bathwater village. <laughs> is that why you chose bathwater? Bathwater village? What's a lady like you doing in a place like this? <laughs> what? Well, like you, I have my own reasons for being here. Anyway, please stop in often. By the look of it, you could certainly use it. Oh! Oh my god, the sound effect. Oh! Oh my god, I love her dog. Woof! His collar says Dozy. Nice to meet you, Dozy. Dozy wags his tail. Freaking cute! What's in here? Oh, oh. Wow, this is a nice bed. This is a 
nice bed. Cool, so she sells like crystals and stuff. You here for the bath? Yes, you do look like you need one. It'll cost you a hundred. No. But I am curious. I'm just kidding. Let's take a... No. Yeah, you know what? Let's take a bath. We're stinky. Here, here you are. Excellent. Right this way. I want to know what it looks like. Ooh. We're bathing. Okay, it gives us more stamina. So for a hundred gold, you can heal everything. I hope you enjoyed your bath, but remember if you feel any ill effects, such as light headache, insomnia, or sudden tail growth, it is merely a random coincidence. <laughs> Not the laugh. Oh, a fish! A fish. How does fishing work? Oh, I guess I can't fish here. Darn it. Okay, let's look at the map. Who else have we not spoken to? We need to go up here. We got all of them. Okay, I think we did all of them. Except whoever this is. So let's go up here. I'm gonna also give her a tulip. And let's go down here. Oh, and there's also another person here. What is this? What is that? Oh, and there's more people. Okay, never mind. We have a lot more. What is what was the gold thing though? What is that? It's oh, is that where I oh is that me? Oh, that's me. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what is that? Oh, that's me. Oh, how nice. Okay, wow. Rich McGee over here. What is the saying? R fancy pants M Rich McGee over here? <laughs> wow, look at her room. Okay, I wonder who's that? Who's this? Okay, there's three bedrooms. One is her brother's and one is hers, and I guess her parents aren't aren't here. Okay, I can't go in there. I thought she was here. Oh wait, is there more? Oh. Who? The sound effect happened. Oh shoot! Hold on. So happy you've taken over the old farm. It was long neglected. I can't wait to see what you do with it. Hold on. Gee. Thank you. That's very thoughtful. You're welcome. Uh, let's see. Oh, who's this? Perfect. Errol. Hello. Are you the new farmer everyone's been talking about? I hear you'll be helping to raise Mysteria's renown. How splendid. It seems we share a common goal. You can call me Errol. I'm the curator of Mysteria's brand new museum. I hope you'll consider donating some items. It's a great way to earn renown. You'll even receive rewards for each collection you complete. Let's support each other's efforts for mystery, eh? I'll be rooting for you. I like the sound effects. I don't know what to call them though, like sparkly sound effects. Oh, who is she? Oh my. Now, who do we have here? Is that her like mom and dad? Kylie, that's a nice name. My name is Elsie. I live at the manor house with my oh niece and nephew. Oh, so she's like the rich aunt. <laughs> okay. Their parents, the Baron and Baroness, spend most of their time in the capital, especially these days. Oh, okay. Is she dating Errol? I once did too. What grand times, but spending time in Mysteria, you really start to appreciate country living. Well, be sure to stop by for a chat anytime, dear. I can share the latest gossip and even some romantic advice if you need it. Romantic advice. Okay. All right, let's go here. Let's let's go this way. Let's go to the right or the east. Definitely giving rich ant vibes. What are they called? The uh single income of oh, sinks. 
I wonder if she's a sink. <laughs> it sounds so weird hearing that. Oh, here we go. Carpenter. Landon. Hi there. The name's Landon. You must be the one lady Adeline was telling us about. My nephew, Rias, is around your age. He's taken the lead at the carpenter shop since I retired. We sell everything from crafting stations and furniture recipes to farm buildings and home upgrades. That's a lot. Okay, so crafting, furniture, farm, home. Nice. Oh, Rias. Hi. Hey, you must be Kylie, right? Nice to meet you. Welcome, Mistria. I'm Rias. I run a carpenter store with my uncle, Landon. Oh, uncle. If you have any interest in crafting, let me know. I'd be more than happy to give you some tips. What kind of crafting? <laughs> well, woodworking is my specialty. I'm sure you'll want to make things like fences and furniture for your farm, right? Feel free to use the crafting station near the town square. If you stop by the carpenter shop, you can also purchase some crafting recipes if you like. Anyway, good luck getting settled in. Uh, let me know if you need anything. Where was the thing? Where was the crafting recipe? Okay, wood, stone, glass, clay, fiber. Ooh, look at all this stuff you can buy. Windows, wallpaper, nightstand, beds. Rustic cabin scroll bundle. Lovely cottage scroll bundle. Use this scroll to unlock the crafting recipes for the lovely cottage furniture set. I'm tempted. I have 400 gold. I could buy that. Level one kitchen, crafting station. A simple kitchen used for making one to two star dishes, suitable for cooking level zero to 19. I guess I don't have a kitchen, so I'd have to get a kitchen to start cooking. And then I guess I could create my own crafting station. Okay. Uh, oh, this is a, oh, a chicken coo, coop, chicken coop. Um, small red barn, what, small white coop, small white barn, okay. Hmm, I'm tempted, I'm tempted to buy that lovely cottage decor. Where is the town square crafting kit, or crafting station? I saw the anvil for making... Okay, this looks like a town square. Hold on, maybe. Hmm. Um, I don't really know. I'm not sure. Oh, it looks like that maybe you can unlock that later. Where? Maybe over here? <sighs> Let's check it out. This was the anvil. Oh, this is it. Oh, there we go. Okay. So we can make wood chest, diary, farmhouse calendar, shipping box. Oh, interesting. Grass tile, two flowers. Oh, it takes time to make this stuff, though. Oh. Huh. We can make a little birdhouse. Here's the fences. And a wheelbarrow, worn well. Cool. Okay, what else? Uh, here's some flooring. So, this just makes 10, but it costs 10 minutes. So, obviously not too long. Oh, and it shows you what it looks like. So I guess if I bought that recipe thing, all the cute cottage stuff would show up here and then I could make it. We could see what it looks like. Oh, here's all the plants. Miscellaneous fireplace. Oh, and you can organize here. Oh. A friendly scarecrow. I wonder if a scarecrow is necessary to have in this game for your plants. Probably not. All right, is there any other place I need to check out? Did I finish the quest? No, there's two more people I have to enter. 
I have to be introduced to? Okay, well, there's two more people. What time is it? 10.30? Okay. 2 a.m. is when you pass out. So, as long as we get to the bed, I guess, before we pass out. How do I do this? Dive spots that sometimes appear in rivers. Um, okay. A river. How do we get to... How do we get in this river? Oh, I can jump. What? Oh my god, I can jump! Wee! Wee! <laughs> what the heck? Oh, here we go. Here, let's see if I can try fishing. Oh, I wonder how fishing is like. Come here, fishy, fishy, fishy! Screw you. There we go. Oh, is it like Room Factory? Oh, I failed. Wait, what did I do wrong? No! <laughs> no! Can I jump in the river? No! <laughs> oh, here's another... Here, another chance. Or wait, maybe not. Head home. No, I want to catch a fish. I'm so confused. Oh wait, what's this? Huh. I suck. I suck. What do I have to do? Oh, I did it! <laughs> My character did that. I got a chub! Okay. Oh shoot, I need to go. I, I need to go back. I need to go home! Hold on, hold that thought. Can I teleport home? Is that a thing in the game? There's an old man over there. Where's my farm again? Oh, I just have to go south, okay. Let's go! I'll get the crawfish later! Book it! Oh god, it's 140! <laughs> that, that came by really fast. Where's my home? Where's my house? Oh my god. Go! 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 Oh, I made it home. Usually that's okay. <laughs> Am I alright? Did I survive? What's going on? Doing good. My first day and I already passed out. What is this? Summary. Oh, I think this is... Oh, you just click next day. Oh, okay. Well, let's see if I have to owe the doctor money if I pass out. I'm actually really curious. Save complete. Oh, I just feel bad. I overslept. Oh, that's what happens. So you oversleep. And then your health and your stamina starts low. Okay, well, that happens, I guess. I'm gonna put this stuff in here. All right, well, that's not too bad. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? Oh, it's raining. What is he doing? Why are you chopping down my tree? Ah, uh, good morning! When I was here the other day, I noticed something suspicious about this tree. I believe it's covering old stonework. As head of the Historical Society, I thought I'd investigate, but this old bark is proving to be surprisingly tough. It's awfully early for this kind of thing! <laughs> I'm terribly sorry! It's been on my mind, I just had to investigate. How about I make you an honorary member to make amends? Woo! I think I need a moment. Uh, let me take a swing at it. I know the graphics are really cute. I want to hear y'all's thoughts of the game. Please share with me what you think. Oh, by all means, here, you can have my axe. Thank you. I got an axe. Incredible. 
incredible. This is a statue of Calderus, the mythological guardian of Mystria. Oh no, his head chopped off. Or her head, his head fell off. Our ancient ancestor used to worship statues like this one. What an incredible find. Shame about the head, but with a little help from the newest member of the historical society, I think we can get him, or we can see him as good as new, if you would, Kylie. Oh, that's easy. I thought I'd have to like provide stone. Oh, nope, we're good. There we are. Don't you just love that sense of achievement? I believe that reconnecting with Mystery's past is the key to our future. This has been a most productive morning. Thank you for all your help. Please keep the axe and do let me know if you stumble upon any intriguing archeological finds yourself. So he says I can use a shovel and like a pickaxe for things, but I don't know. Nice, what does this do? The statue has a dignified presence. It almost seems alive. I have mail. Visit the museum. Dear Kylie, as a curator of Mysteria's museum, I'm delighted to share that we have unveiled a series of tiered rewards to encourage donations to our collection. Please stop by the museum west of town at your earliest convenience. Oh, okay. Should we head to the, to the town then? I think we have to go up north and then west. Yeah, there we go. There's the museum. Oh, a bug. Come here. It's a ladybug. Oh, it is! Okay, I'll donate this to the museum. Um, okay, I have to go this way. Ooh, crawfish. Or maybe. This, this is, this style is like room factory fishing. Oh, shoot. I'm gonna be honest, I'm really bad at room factory style fishing. <laughs> Oh, maybe it's more like Animal Crossing? I don't know. It's been a while since I've played Animal Crossing. I need... I need a crawfish, and she said I have to jump in. Ooh, what is that? A blue gill. Oh, here we go. I'm swimming! Oh, it scares the fish away. Wait, how do I get a crawfish? Wait, how does this work? Oh, who's this? Ooh, Terithia? Terithia? Ahoy there, I'm Terithia, and you might be, or who might you be? Oh, that's right, Adeline mentioned her plan a while back. I didn't realize someone had taken her up on it. I run a little tackle shop out by the beach. I sell fishing rods and a small selection of fish caught, freshly caught fish. Feel free to stop by. How the heck do you catch a crawfish, chat? Where is a dive spot? Whose house is this? Is this, where are we? Where am I? Oh, I'm in the town. Right. Huh. Maybe that circle where I was trying to fish, maybe that was considered a dive spot? Okay, let's go to the museum. Wait, how do I get there? I'm here. Oh, I guess I have to go this way? Like crab pots? No, I don't have any of those. I'm not sure if those are a thing in this game. Are these gravestones? Oh. No, not, I don't think so. Alright, ooh, here's a museum. Kylie, welcome, welcome. I assume this is about my letter? Excellent. In my talks with Lord Island and Lady Adeline, they entreated me to concern myself with objects from antiquity, as well as to use museum to showcase the many unique specimens of Mystria. To wit, if you could bring me not only your archaeological finds, but also the plants, insects, and fish of the region, I believe together we can create a museum that's one of a kind. Ah, Animal Crossing vibes. I think this game just feels like more feels like more stardew you think so 
I feel like there's a lot of things that this... I mean, I get, I get the vibes of Stardew. I agree. I feel like there's more, though. You want bugs? Indeed. I will display the items that you donate so that visitors from far and wide can appreciate that what Mystery has to offer. And do not think we would be ungrateful. There is a generous reimbursement policy set up by the Historical Society. Renown and all kinds of rewards. Would you like to view the tutorial? I guess so. <sighs> Open the museum menu by interacting with the museum ledger. Put the items you want to donate into the donation box. Hit donate. You will see which sets your items went into and how close those sets are to completion. You can check museum wings at the ledger to see set completion statues and reward hints. Reward hints. You can check item tooltips to see if an item belongs to a set and if you have already donated it or not. That's helpful. What do you say, Kylie? Can we count on you? Let's get digging. Splendid. As an official surveyor, let me give you a small stipend to welcome you. Wait, he gave me money? Money. Hold on, I want to donate something. Wait, who's this? Oh, he's the wing. Okay, hold on. I, I was trying to talk to... Oh, this is island. Okay. They can be donated to museum or sold by recall. Okay, yes. Okay, donate. Here is this and here's this fish. Donate. There we go. So it shows you the other ones I need to collect. Got it. Okay, so here's the fish one. So it shows you. Spring River, Spring Pond. It is like the community center. He gave us money. I like money. Me too. Look at this hat. So if you do all of them, you get this hat. That's it. Okay. At least it's organized. So we got bad insects. Rare. What is that? Oh, it's a bug. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bug bug net hat. Okay, nice. Got a cowboy hat. Okay, can we like? Oh, I guess we can't go in to the places. Maybe once they're all done. All right, who have we not met yet? Who are you? Oh, they're, they're right there. I'm coming. I'm coming to get you, whoever you are. They're still there, okay. Stay there. Right here. Oh, no, no, no. One, one more down. Maybe inside? Oh, this person? No, this Hulk. Oh, this person. Valen. Hello, you must be the new farmer Kylie, isn't it? Man, these characters give like such 90s vibes. And I think it's the colored hair and it makes me, it reminds me of Sailor Moon. Um, I'm the town's doctor. I run our clinic. No need for formalities though. Uh, you can just call me Valen. It's nice to meet you, Valen. You too. I hope you're getting settled in all right. Running a farm is hard work. Be sure that you get plenty of sleep and eat well to keep your energy up. Where is the clinic? Yeah, 90s faces. Ooh, what's this? Stinky stamina potion. Attractive and extremely talented bathhouse owner seeks a gopher to find and hand over a lilac. <laughs> what? I don't know how to get a lilac, but sure. <gasps> Look! Dive! Oh, oh, I got an oyster. Oh, cool. 
Okay, so that's how you can get crawfish. Those are the dive points, chat. We found, we figured it out. Okay. Whee! Oh, look, you can jump over those. Whee! Oh, can't jump over that. It's a wall. I still need a darn crawfish. Wait, I met everybody. So I can go turn this in now, can't I? I get three potato seeds if I do. All right, let me go do that. Where is she? Is that her? Oh, there she is. She knew. Turn in. You finished meeting everyone in town? That's wonderful. Congratulations on completing your first request. Here's your reward. Potato! Oh, I also wanted to use that other magic spell, the full restore one. So we'll pin it, and it heals my stamina and HP. I want to see what it looks like. And magic. Oh, that's the same thing. Oh, okay, well... Yay! I have full health and stamina now. Um, I have 600 gold. So I want to buy that cottage set. So I need to go back to the carpentry. Was the carpentry people? Wait, where did I buy... Where was that carpent... Or that set? Uh... Who did I buy that from? I kind of wish it would tell me... Oh, is that the clinic? Um... Where did I buy that? Huh. I think this... No, that's this. Hmm, where's the clinic? Is that the clinic? Here, these signs might be helpful. Oh, not really. <laughs> okay. I guess we can figure out where does she go. Is that her? Maybe that's the clinic. Oh, was it? No, was it the inn? Was it the general store that I could buy that? Oh, see, this is the clinic. Okay. Yeah, this is the clinic. Oh, you can buy healing syrup, stamina syrup, fairy syrup. Will revive you once when consumed. That makes sense. Speedy syrup, restorative syrup. Good. Nice. So that's, that's the clinic. Okay. Um... Let me go find, let me go look around and see where that recipe was. I literally forgot, or well, not this. How did they get that syrup? <laughs> they squeezed the fairies dry. Um, let's see, was it here? No, but I could buy some more stuff. Maybe I could buy one strawberry seed. And then maybe, well, I'm not even, even if I bought it, it's going to take five days to, I only have one more day. Maybe it doesn't matter. Wait, it does matter because I have this. It does matter. This is only 15. Uh, 70. I'll buy that. I have to have at least 400 so that I can buy the set. But where the heck is the set? I totally forgot. Let me go back to the carpenter. Maybe the carpenter is the one who had it. Can't remember. Let's go to the carpenter. Oh my god, it's 418? Why don't y'all tell me? Sorry, it's okay anyways, because I'm loving this game. <gasps> there it is, it was the carpenter shop. 
Goodbye. Alright, let's go see what I need to make this stuff. Cut his past. I don't know. It's okay. Oh, I want to go check this out real quick. I've been wanting to play this game. So, we were having fun watching. That's sweet. By the way, I don't know if y'all noticed, um, but I posted on my Discord. Sorry, this is totally derailing. Um, but I, uh, we changed our movie nights. And if you're like, what's that? So basically every Tuesday at 5 o'clock we would have a movie night. Um, but we changed it, so now they're going to be on Sundays. So they're going to be Sunday movies. Um, and they're going to be every other Sunday because every week was a little much, in my opinion. So, every other Sundays, um, starting on the 16th is when we're going to be having our movie nights. I have everything in the Discord if you want to know more. But yeah, our movie nights changed. Uh, the next movie we're going to watch is Breaking Dawn Part 1. And then the following Sunday will be Breaking Dawn Part 2. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, yay. What time on Sunday? At 5 p.m. So, basically an hour after my stream. Like always. 5 p.m. Central Time. Okay, where is the cute, cottage, cozy, cute rest? Oh, wait. Do I have to use it? Oh, I think I have to use it. Okay, let's use it. Ah, look! Oh, yes. When I think of lovely cottage, this is exactly what I think of. Yes. So cute. I probably won't be able to make any of this, but... Yeah, I can't. But that is good to know. <laughs> oh, lovely cottage. Oh, my God. It's so cute. What else? They have like the table and the dressers and the nightstands. Is this also with it? Oh no, that's something different. And the rug. Oh, and the cute little windows with the curtains on it. Ooh. Dried flowers. What is this? Lovely cottage plant shelf. Gotta have our plant shelf. Oh, and our fake plants. <laughs> Cute. Oh my god. That's adorable. One thing I do really like um, that I wouldn't say all the farming games have is that the ability to just save so you don't have to... I don't have to spend the whole day... Oh, ooh. Hold on. Ah! I got a crawfish! Perfect. I have a crawfish for that one lady. But anyways, so I can go here even if I'm not done with the day. It's 9 p.m. So I can just go here and save. And then I can just stop. I don't have to like force my character to go to bed. Which is great. I love that. Anyways, we'll stop. We'll stop here for today though. That was fun. So this game we tried out yesterday. Oh. Uh, and it's like a, like a find, like a I Spy game, like, like Where's Waldo kind of thing, but they have, it's kind of like, it's just a little more than that though, and it's just cute, and you can click on everything, and everything has like its own animation, and does things, and I freaking love it. I don't know what it is, but it just makes my brain so happy playing these, <laughs> or playing this. But it's just, just a demo, so it's not out yet. Um, let's go and do the story. We did this one. Uh, we did this one. And then now we have this next one. This is probably like the last one of the demo, but we're gonna try it. Was the walking animations? I mean, okay. <laughs> Oh, did it, Jai? Cute. 
cute. We're at a tavern. The missing captain. There's kind of, like I'm playing the story, so it does have some dialogue like this, right? Here, also let me move stuff. Um, but it's so stinging cute. And there's like references. There's references. We found a up reference. We found a Doramon reference. I can't, I can't remember if we found other ones. But if y'all see one, say something. Cause, yeah. You, want, you may want to tell every journalist that, that then because they all call it Mass Effect 5, they call Andromeda Mass Effect 5? I mean, I guess it's the fifth entry of Mass Effect. I don't know. Well, it's pretty crowded here. Where should we even start looking for the missing captain? Let's ask Bruce. He knows everything around here. Bruce who? An old friend of mine, the owner of that big bar. Also, I love the, the little sound effects. The little bubble sound. I don't know how to call it. He should be somewhere inside. Let's go find him. All right. But look. Find the owner. But there's so much. Don't forget you can change floors. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Cool. Ooh, look at everything. Oh, she likes this guy. <laughs> if y'all see a reference, you have to tell me. <laughs> oh, gather all missing sheep. Oh, wait. Oh, I didn't look. They have like a main story quest, right? So we have to find the owner of the bar. And they also have these side quests, and they'll tell you here. Mark the treasure spot, support the street artist, gather all missing sheep, found one. Meet the legendary pop star, and then find Juju. Juju are like these, like, ghosty things. So if you see something that doesn't have any color, you that's, that's basically what a Juju is. Mm. Look at the shark. <laughs> I love how they, they have all, look at all the animations! And sometimes it does funny things, like the last one we did, we clicked on a bird that was on a telephone pole, lightning struck it, it turned into a drumstick. That's not really funny, but you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, dog! Yeah! They have so many different characters. Oh, you can go down there. Look at the little bunny. Okay, let's find, let me focus on the main story for right now. Oh look, this is a juju. You see this snail? How it doesn't have like any color and it's kind of like looking weird. See? That's a juju. All right, let's find the owner of the bar. Not the Cyclops. Who is the owner? Not this guy, it's a bartender. What about her? Nope, not her. She's just a customer. Let's go to the second floor. Do you think it's the zebra? <laughs> what the heck? Or this? Oh, it's Michael Jackson. Oh, is that like a Michael Jackson impersonator, but a horse? Ooh. Wait, is he the... Oh, wait a second. Is this the pop star? Oh, my God. <laughs> it's a pop star. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Oh my god, yeah, meet the legendary pop star. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I disagree, that's quite funny. Okay, I'm glad you do. Maybe he's the owner? There we go. This guy's the owner. He has all the ladies on him. That makes sense. <laughs> what? What is this outfit? Oh, don't worry, you look great in it. Do we really have to serve these drinks? It'll be fine. Just follow Bruce's order. He might be the only one who knows where the captain is. I'll wait here. Come back when you're done. 
Okay, so I have to... So now that we found the owner of the... This, now we have to find all of these drinks. Alright, oh, I love how I can move it to the side. Oh my god, what's with this cat? Did this cat get drunk? <laughs> All right, if y'all see any of the drinks, let me know. Don't mind me, I'm gonna be clicking on random things. Oh, you can turn the light on and off. Get the mouse. Oh, there's one, the blue drink. <laughs> oh, you can change the music. Oh, no, you can't. <laughs> Not really. Oh, this looks yummy. <laughs> oh my god, it makes crunching sounds. <laughs> oh, it's a Luigi hat! And that's, is that a, whose hat is that? <laughs> At least I, it looks like a Luigi hat. Um, okay, is there anything else here? Okay, I don't think so. Except these dancing people. Get it! Alright, let's go to the third floor. Oh, look at this cat! That's cute. Oh, there's another hat. That looks like a captain's hat, though. Another sheep! Here's a purple drink. It's a pig making... Oh, is it fish? <laughs> it looks like ham. <laughs> Awkward. Mm. <laughs> Look how cute the little bunnies are. Oh my god, the sound it makes. Oh, this is a little raccoon holding up a spoon box. Hey, 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 hey. There's a fox. What else do I have to do? Mark the treasure spot. Support the street artist. Gather all missing sheep. <laughs> all the bunnies. <laughs> and there's also bunny girls. Wario? Maybe it was Wario's hat? We didn't find Mario's hat. So many bunnies. Oh, I guess because this is like the bunny thing. Um. Okay. Is there any? Oh, here. Here's one drink. Oh my god, is it Santa? What does this bird ha have on its back? Is that a phone? Oh my god, it sounds like Donald Duck. Okay, let's go to the first floor now. Oh no, what happened here? Oh! Oh, it's like a little detective! And a cop! And a peacock person. Oh wait, there's the guy. <laughs> wait, is that the same guy? Maybe it's different. What's this? Look at this little... Oh, he's a little butler. Oh, what the heck? Oh, I want to keep that on. Are they cheating? <laughs> These guys have cards, like, under their butt. They're totally cheating! <laughs> it does sound like a dog toy. Green bottle on the bar. Green bottle on the bar. This bar? Uh, by the white machine. By the white machine. What's the white machine? I don't see it. The blue bar? This bar? Oh, you mean this? Oh, this! Got it. Got it. Register looking thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good find, good find. <laughs> Let's look this way. This 
person's not getting any cell phone service. Actually, let's look this way. This is cute. Oh. Oh, I supported the street artist. Huh? Oh, he gave him a coin. <laughs> oh, look at him. Oh, he's got he's got fans now. <laughs> That's cute. Hey. <laughs> look at all the people. Oh my god, look at this dolphin lady. This is supposed to be a reference, but I can't tell. Does this look like it? Is that Luffy that you have to find? He has the straw hat. <laughs> oh, you think that's like the captain we have to looking we're looking for? Maybe. What's in here? Let's go in here. Oh no. Oh, there we go. We found another juju. Interesting. Somebody lives in the submarine. Do you know if it's going to come on Switch? I'm not sure. Oh, here's the sheep. Let's look. Lost and found. Let me find their Twitter. Usually they say it on Twitter. Lost and found co. Um, currently you can only wishlist it on Steam. Um, I have a feeling this will come to Switch. Maybe. I wonder how you would click all this stuff. I wonder how I wonder how you click um, on a switch. I'm not sure. It looks like it's only Steam though. They haven't said anything about the Nintendo Switch, it seems. At least just from basic glance looking at their Twitter page. Um, I really like this game. <laughs> Oh, touchpad or the or cursor? Touchpad, maybe? I guess, yeah, I guess you're right. You could just do touchpad. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? You're right. Can I... Can I see, like, what's behind here? I guess not. Oh, what's going on here? Oh. Oh, we have to... Oh, oh, wait, that's who you said! Luffy! It is Luffy! We do have to find Luffy, and we have to find this guy. I thought I saw him earlier. This guy. Oh, no, this is a different guy. He has a stripe. Oh, we have to find this lady, too. What the heck? Oh, that's why, because we have to serve drinks to these people. Right. Sorry, I'm trying to find... I'm trying to find these drinks. <laughs> hey! What the heck? What was that? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a mermaid? <laughs> oh, there's a message in a bottle. Oh, here's another sheep. The yellow drink is over yonder. Where's that? <laughs> Yeah, maybe, Becca. Usually that's what happens. Like, these games will come out on the Steam and they'll get, hopefully, a lot of success. And then they makes it easier to port stuff over to the Switch. I'm guessing. I'm not a game dev. I don't know any game devs, like, personally. Otherwise, I would I would have loved to ask that question. Be like, how, how do y'all go about releasing games? <laughs> Ooh, I like this sound. It's like ASMR. <laughs> Um, like, how do you go about putting your game on a Switch? Why, why did you do Steam first? Hey. Ooh. Oh. Baby. <laughs> this guy is, like, passed out. Whoa! Wait, what happened? I clicked his feet and he moved. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Can I click on him? Okay. <laughs> Where is Luffy? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, here we go. We found this lady. Okay. What's with the knife? Oh, okay. <laughs> it was a juju. <laughs> oh, I have two more to find. First which I think you have to pay a bit for a license or something. Oh, okay. I know, right, Becca? I want a Steam Deck too. They're so dang expensive though. Oh, this guy's just mad chillin'. <laughs> what is that face? <laughs> Alright, um... Let's see... What is this thing? Oh, look at this cat. Is that butter? Oh, it's a butter cat. I don't understand that. Oh, there we go. Found another juju. Oh my god, like a little cat mermaid. <gasps> There's Luffy! <laughs> it's Luffy! Hey, hey! <laughs> Oh my god! Wait, why does he turn into a oh, monkey D. Luffy? Ah! Uh, what the heck? <laughs> See, these are cute if you understand some of the references. Freaking adorable. Okay, we have to find this guy and these drinks, chat. I need help. Let me zoom out. Oh, we didn't go over here. <laughs> are cute. <laughs> yeah. Y'all, if y'all see anything, let me know. Oh! Oh, no. Darn. We need a green one. We need a green... I'm gonna call it a martini. Uh, let's call this, like, beer or lemonade. And then this is, like, a... I don't know. <laughs> Something with water in it. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> they need to be drinking water. Uh, tankard? Would you call it a tankard? The I don't know is on the floor of the bar. It's on the floor of the bar. Like this bar? It's on the floor? <gasps> you're right! By the mouse! Oh, you're right! There is the yellow one. What yellow one? We don't need a yellow one. Oh, you mean this? This is the yellow? Wait, you see the yellow one? I thought you meant like... Sorry, when I saw... I saw this and I thought you, th you meant that. Where's the yellow? By the river? If I... Should I not move? You can see it from here. Light pole? <gasps> You're right! Ah! Good job. Oh, look, I remember where this dog is. He's right here. And then this guy, they were eating upstairs. This guy. There we go. Alright, we just need to find this. Oh, I found it. It's right here. Yes. Now oh, we're adding more people. So we have this handsome fellow and this crazy person. This pirate crew gets as high as he can get. Okay, maybe he's on... That's a clue. You can click these if you don't know where. That's like a hint. Oh, he's right here! Huh? <laughs> The handsome fellow uh, is left of the shop with the blue roof. Oh, you're right. He's right here. Nice. Hey. Yay! <laughs> we found them all. <laughs> so the captain named Chirpman is locked up inside the attic. Wonder what kind of trouble he caused to end up there. Oh my god, look at what the heck! Also, hold on, before we go, we need to find Mark the treasure spot, and we still need to find one more sheep, and then one more juju. So, I need y'all to help me. Let's focus on, let's do the sheep first. 
Let's look over here. Is there any sheep over here? Keep in mind, like, I can open and close things. One more left. Is the shovel on that bottom left boat clickable? The shovel on the bottom left boat? Uh, shovel. Oh, this? I think it's a fish. <laughs> Did you mean this? I zoom, I had to zoom out. It does it did look like a shovel. Nah, it's like uh fish bones. Uh oh. Fish bones. <laughs> Thought maybe I can open up that backpack. <laughs> Kinda like clicking everything. Just in case. <laughs> I missed something. Um, do y'all see any sh any sheep? We found a sheep over here last time. a poodle. Oh, he changed to a poodle. Is that, was that a reference? Oh. <gasps> oh, there was more bunnies in here. <laughs> Dang it, there's no sheep though. sheep on on this area right maybe on the second floor is that a Yoshi egg is that a Yoshi egg chat oh you thought it could have been Juju oh that actually oh that one would have been super sneaky <laughs> It could have been. Because, oh, here's the treasure map. Wait, what did it say? Mark the treasure spot. Is that like a hint? <laughs> I don't know. Mark the treasure spot? I don't, I don't think that's a thing. I don't think this map is anything. <laughs> At least I don't think so. Oh. Hold on, is there anything like on the outskirts? Hold on, let me check. Oh. Oh. Oh! This is a treasure spot! Oh! What in the world? <laughs> what? <laughs> Hi, Briller! Oh my god, they're like shooting at it. <laughs> Okay, well that's where that was. Gosh darn it, this sheep. Where are you? Oh, there's the juju. It was this little starfish. Okay, that's done. All that's left left is to find the missing sheep. Hmm. Oh my god. He turned into a penguin. He looks like Johnny Bravo, but a penguin. <laughs> Do y'all remember that show? Johnny Bravo. Hi, Orca. Or thank you, Orca. Oh, hi. Hi. Y'all remember that show? <laughs> Did y'all watch it? 
<laughs> it's such a oh my god I can't even remember what that show was even about but it was just silly um goodness the sheep's gotta be hiding somewhere Where where's the sheep? Can I get a hint on the sheep? Can I get a hint? I guess I can't. Unless it's like down here. Oh, there's a little fish. I like that sound. Oh. Did you click on that box on the cart? Oh, here? I know, I just did it. I thought maybe it would be in there too, but apparently not. Dang it. Oh my gosh! <laughs> he kind of looks like the guy from Scooby-Doo. I'm forgetting his name. Shaggy! He looks like Shaggy, doesn't he? It was about Johnny Bravo. That's all you needed. <laughs> or that's all you need. I guess you're right. Um... There wasn't any sheep in here, was there? No. Backpack on the girl at the in the bar. Backpack. Hey. This girl? Or should I go on the first floor? Oh. <laughs> Dang it, no. <laughs> she doesn't look very happy. Oh, I just now noticed this dog. Man, the more you look, the more you notice about the tiny details they added. God darn it, where's this stupid sheep? Is it his beard? No. <laughs> Are any of the lobster guys beards of sheep? Lobster guys? Where are, the, where are those? The pirate ship? Oh. Dang it. I don't think so. That would be a really good hiding spot for a sheep is the beard. This door doesn't open. How about the guys holding the chest? On the dock. Oh. Mm. This guy? Mm. No. Dang it. Mm. Where, where is this sheep? This is gonna bother me. literally everything. <laughs> it's gotta be hiding in something. Oh. Dang it. <laughs> it wasn't in the trash can. Oh. 
Well, you can click on it and make it disappear. The heck? doing the main story. Maybe the sheep is in here. That would have been a good spot for the sheep. I don't think the sheep's in here, darn it. Gosh darn it. Well, here's the captain. This poor guy looks huh? like he's, uh, not doing so hot. Ow! Are you okay, Mr. Chirpman? Oh, where am I? Bruce's bar attic, obviously. What? How? Wait, my stuff! All my precious stuff is gone! Last night, that woman, the card game! Dang, those cheaters! They were cheating. Sai, so this is how you got thrown here. Um, so people are saying you're the only one around here who can sail the ship. Can you help us get to Smurly Island? Trust me, I want to help, but I need to find my stuff first. That you don't have to worry about. We'll take care of it. Right, ducky. Uh, yes. Truly, you're a lifesaver. These are the things I need you to find. Okay, now we gotta go find his stuff. Find Turpman's stuff. Darn it, I was really hoping the sheep was gonna be here. That is not true, Specky. What about the guy delivering a cardboard box? Uh, where? Okay, so we have to find this bunny doll, which is, oh, it's not that one. We have to find this bunny doll, his coat, um, his watch, her, uh, this picture, this telescope thing, his hat, and a sock. Oh my god, I know the sock. Sock's right here. I remember the sock. Oh, is this his coat? No. Darn it. Um. I'm still trying to find that sheep, darn it. The bunny doll is in the porta potty. Oh, you're right. Nice. Um. Oh, you don't know how to name those things? <laughs> yeah, they're called porta potties. Is this what you were referring to, Becca? Coat there, first floor bar. First floor. Ah, good find. By Shaggy. I'm looking around for all the pieces of paper. people that cheated these are the people that cheated isn't it <laughs> the hat next to the lady the 
God. All right, last is this pitcher. Uh, blue, it looks like a duck with purple hair and a pink top. <laughs> These all have green hair. <laughs> And if you see a sheep, say something, because I'm also looking for a sheep. Anything here? Too bad we can't, like, make this roof like, go away. Try clicking all the schools of fish. Oh, is this it? <gasps> we found it! Green hat guy's pillow. Oh, hold that thought. actually getting all the items cute okay now we can go back and look for that uh sheep so oh my god huh? i feel like huh? it was right in front of our eyes that whole time i clicked on him so many times good job fn holy cow no way we did it we did all of the things. Nice. Thanks, guys. <laughs> this is so worth playing with you guys. Otherwise, I won't find it by myself. <laughs> I've gotten frustrated. Yes, we did it. I bet Mr. Turpin is happy to have all his stuff back. Thinking about it, that purple masked woman was very scary. Mumble, mumble. Are you okay, goddess? What do you mean, okay? I'm always okay. Oh, she's drunk. Ah, it looks like you had too much of Bruce's special speciality. Well, what can you do? That drink was too good. I feel like it brought out the best in me. Maybe that's why everyone who gave it to turned into some random animal. Oh yeah, that's what happened. Maybe. I heard that he used some weird magic apples to make them. Magic apple? That sounds yummy. <laughs> I'll get you a few once we become more well-known. Aw, that's going to take so long. Now if you work hard, duck. Speaking of work, here's a new request. Wait, what? Someone else took it, but how? Because you're so slow. Faye, what are you doing here? Just here to say hi to an old friend who's about to lose her tiny business. Y you, watch your mouth or I will... You will go on, I'm listening. Grr. 
goddess, I think we should give up and cry to mommy. Wait, that's the guy that we saw earlier. Huh? Because you slowpoke are never going to beat us. No chance. So he's also a duck. And, or a penguin. I think he's a penguin and he's a duck. <laughs> what the heck? It doesn't matter what you do. We're always going to be faster, better, and stronger than you. Enough, Gus. But, but. So you copycats are the ones trying to steal our job? And what are you going to do about that? Oh, maybe if you make a pleading face in that cute little form, I might feel a little more generous. Ah! You wind lizard! Oh, she's a dragon. <laughs> well, I was only trying to help. Let's go, Gus. We're leaving. I don't want to waste more time in this unpleasant place. Roger that, Miss Faye. Don't you try getting in my way. Ooh. Ah! Goddess? Goddess, are you okay? No, I'm not okay. Let's go. There's no time to waste. Well, where are we going? To find another job before they snatch it from us again. Come on, duck. Ah, wait for me. Cute. No. Back to lobby. Okay, well, that's the end of it. But we're not done. Because we have one more request we can do. Yo, kiddo. Fantastic job the other day. Folks at my bar are asking for you. Want to come work for me again? Interesting. Chris. Howdy, duck guy. Remember me? You gave me a tip at Bruce's bar. Bruce bar. Now I got. Now I have enough money to go to Plumville. I even managed to come up with a new song. Can you believe it? I'm totally on a roll. <laughs> this is cute. Random. Alright, let's do another request. We only have one other one. And it's Tea Time Troubles. Oh, this one was considered easy? Oh, this one's a lot harder one. All right, this one's normal. Take a part-time job handling troublesome situations at famous tea house. Okay, this is it for the demo though, after this. And then we'll play another demo after. Hi, PJ, how are you? Ooh, look at all the lucky cats. Find all the objects. All right, chat, find all the objects. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh! It turned all the people into little tanukis. <laughs> They're called tanukis, right? Pay respect to the great tanuki. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, let's see. Find all objectives, gather piles of leaves, lift the frog's curse, witness the show finale, and find three jujus. Alright. Ooh, a taiyaki sounds great. I love that crunchy sound. Have you found me yet or am I still lost? Hi, Shiro! Oh look, look at all their arms. I forgot what these things are called. Do y'all remember what these are called? I know you have to like draw a face on them. For, I'm not sure why. These kids look familiar. Are they from something, Chad? Maybe not. Dar Daruma? Oh, these things? There's a boba place near me with really good taiyaki. Ooh, that sounds good. With the cat. Oh, I can turn all the lights on. <laughs> What's that? Look at all the teapots. So let me look. We have to find a brown and dark brown teapot. Um, a pink colored dongo maybe? A little... Oh, I forgot what these are called. This is what you use to use green... Or to mix green tea. This girl... 
Uh, maybe she's looking for her glasses. This cute little frog. Cheesecake and an orange and an orange. I think it's an orange. Oh, is this it? No. She bowed. <gasps> Why does this guy look familiar? <gasps> the teapot. I found it. I don't know. This look this guy looks so familiar. Maybe I'm wrong. Da da Rumo all look the same. No, I think you're right. Do y'all know the reference for these people, though? Why do they look familiar? It's bothering me. Maybe it's nothing, but... Eh. And then this guy, too. Dang it. Oh, here's the leaves. There, I got the leaves. Oh, here we go. Here's the orange. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, it's more yellow. Oh, here we go. I forgot what that thing's called, but I got it! Found it! Oh, here's another leaf pile. <gasps> There's the frog thing! <laughs> you don't watch enough anime? This reminds me of a show, or an anime but I forgot what it was called. It's basically like a girl is sent to another world and she had to marry this demon and she basically runs a little restaurant in the inn and there's like a section of the anime where there's like these crow people, but they're like humans though. I don't know. That's why it looked familiar, but wasn't I wasn't sure. But it looked like those crow people in the anime. <laughs> but it's like so specific. <laughs> hey look, a vampire! <laughs> oh, it's a folklore t creature called a tengu. Maybe, okay. That would make sense if it was based more off like the folklore creature. That makes sense. <gasps> oh! <gasps> Oh! They transformed. Oh my god, I found it! Whatever that was. <laughs> Why is he crying? Is it allergies? I feel that, man. Mmm. Mmm. Hmm. Obasan is not happy. Is there anything over here? Oh. Ha! A mouse. Look at ha! these characters. Hmm. Ha! Ha! Oh, is this the performance of the finale? Oh. Oh! <laughs> They're like, yeah! <laughs> Wait, what was that? Oh, that's not it. Oh. Oh, that was just the first part. Whoa! Is that the finale? Oh, this is the finale. Whoa, he turned into a tiger! <laughs> what the heck? Witness the show finale. <laughs> How cute! Yeah, they're yeah. like, yay! <laughs> oh, oh, not this. Oh, I found the juju. It was where it made the cat wear a wig. <laughs> oh, oh, I already found these. Oh, I can go down the well. Look at the little frog. Lift the frog's curse. Oh! Well, that's cute. 
Oh, it's called a yuzu. Oh, that was a yuzu, right. Is that heart leaf a thing? What? Oh, did I... Where? Oh, this. <gasps> it was a thing. It transformed. Oh, it's a snake. <laughs> it transformed into a little watering can. The heck? Kinda. Is that pink ball thing on the skewer? Oh. Oh, no. Dang, it looked like it would have been, though. But no. Oh. Oh, no, you dropped your, your snacks. Oh, I found the girl. What? <laughs> oh, he was crying because he missed his daughter. <laughs> oh, I don't really know. <laughs> But yeah, I'm glad I helped him find his daughter. Oh, <gasps> there's another juju. Is she a ghost? Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, we can go down here. What's happening here? Okay, that is so satisfying. <gasps> cheesecake! We found the cheesecake! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Poor bunny. Uh. Oh, he keeps... The bunny keeps popping out. Uh. Oh! <laughs> uh. Uh. Oh, I'm transforming uh. all these uh, tanukis. What in the world? What about this grandma? Uh. Uh. Oh, she's not approving. Uh. Uh. Oh, you can change how he looks. Oh, wait, no, maybe not. Okay. Oh my god, it's... Let me take a selfie, bunny. Hmm. Wait, you know what that is? Or are you just giving it a name? <laughs> Isn't there a story that there's a guy on the moon making mochi into... Oh, mochi into bunnies? I do know that there's like a story about having a bunny on the moon. There's a juju. Is that the last one? It is. I found them all. Pink ball on the plant. Uh, where? Hold on, I want to turn these lights on. Okay. Okay, where? On the pot on the floor. I don't see it. Pot on the floor. The left one. Left. Left? Here? Inside? Where? Yeah, oh, inside. On the floor. A mystical hare who inhabits a moon mashes ingredients from mochi, a traditional rice flavor cake. You're close. To the left of the big tanuki guy. Oh! It's like on the plant. Oh, wow, good find. Holy cow, I did not see that. 
Yay, we did it! We did it! We clicked everything. Dang it! That means I'm done. Oh wait, no, I, no I'm not. I have to collect the leaf pile. <laughs> there we go. Now I'm done. <laughs> we helped him gather all the leaves. Um, that's it. Darn it! I really enjoyed this game. I want to play this game when it comes out. This is so satisfying. It was very sneaky. Good eye, Jai. Good eye. But it looks like you can unlock requests as you go, and they range from easy, normal, hard, and then KOZ, which I'm guessing means like super difficult. I don't really know what K. Like KO, maybe? I don't know where the Z is from. And then there was the stories that we did. If you revisit, there's nothing else though, I don't think. Because I finished all of it. I guess it's just to finish like everything. If you wanted. And then you can also, if you miss this, you can also like decorate. So this is like our office. So you can like decorate inside. Oh, I didn't. Oh, look, there's the TV again, Effin. <laughs> um, how did I decorate? Oh, renovate. You click this button. So you can change, like, the inside and the outside. And the roof. I made mine, like, Japanese style. Oh, I guess that makes more sense. I like this one, though. And then you can change. It's cute, right? And then the doors. I'm sure you get more as you like keep playing, but cute. This is for this is from uh, Steam Next Fest. So hopefully the demo is good. Let's find out. Baba Yaga, Yaga, Yaga. Sometimes I take longer thinking of a title than making the actual clip. It's okay. It's worth it. <laughs> you don't have to take... You don't have to rush when you make clips. It's really funny, though. Y'all's titles. Alright. Vega. Ooh. Settings. Got audio. Full screen. Is it... Oh, it still has music even if I click off. I like that. Cloud quality, shadow quality. I'm gonna leave it to low right now. Auto walk? Okay. All right, we'll just leave everything on default. Hi, JC, good morning. She's Slavic folk, she's a Slavic folk story. She lives in a house with chicken legs and the house walks around with chicken legs. <laughs> Interesting. As I said, it reminds me, it gives like Housemary Castle vibes. There was a time when the land knew magic in its bones, when man knew of nature, not machines. The old ways were respected then and witches revered. A better world, perhaps, but. But time moves on, and if we do not move with it, the age of witchcraft will be lost to us forever. I feel the approach of one who may prove ready for such challenges. Who can embrace our past and unlock our future? One who has known hardship and pain. She has traveled far, yet the path ahead of her will prove greater than she has ever known. Our downfall or our salvation? Only time will tell. One second, guys. Help me, this thing needs to be charged. Okay, Rika. I want to write down notes of the game to help me remember about it. If y'all can help me think of things to write about that are memorable to the game, let me know. Let me know your reactions. Baba Yaga is basically a boogeyman, which is why they called him that. Oh. 
Thank you for playing our demo. Today we want to show you the prologue map of Rekha. Please note that leaving the map will end the demo. We can't wait to show you more when we release into early access very soon. Okay, so the early access is soon. We hope you have a lot of fun, Team Ember Storm. Ooh. Okay. So you can change the skin tone. You can have tattoos. Oh, I can't really see where the tattoo is. Oh, these are by her eyes. This is on her hand. Oh, this is on her hand. I don't know where this one is. And this is on that. I don't want a tattoo, but good to know. Head. Oh, these are different faces. Let's do that one. Freckles or no freckles. Oh, and then you have intensity. Intense freckles. Let's go in the center. Eyes. Oh, these are like all of the different eye colors. <laughs> I like the names of all the eye color. Bright sky, cold fog, stormy clouds, dark forest. It fits. It fits well with the theme. Let's do cold fog. Oh, here's all the different hairs. The hair moves. Ooh, I like this. Ooh. Physics. Ooh, so curly. These are definitely witch hairs. I feel like all of these hairs give witch vibes. Also, hold on. I want this one. I look so angry though. Um, what is this? Color. Oh, cool. So, oh, you can give Okay, this is interesting. Oh, wow, this is how you change, like, the color of the hair. Wow. <laughs> I'm trying to do a brown. There we go. Looks nice. <laughs> All right, got some different eyebrows. Let's do these, and then let's match. There. That looks good. What do y'all think? Alright, now we can do clothing. We can have a coat. Ooh, I like this one. These are the outfits. Or you can just have no coat. I like that. And then these are the shoes. Let's have some socks and a coat. There you go. Accessorize. Oh, my hair changed. Oh, oh, I kind of like that. Neck, you can have a little choker. What is this? I think these are rings. So you can have rings on your fingers. All right, I'm done. Leave. Oh. WSD to move. Go around, hold shift. Ooh. Do you want to continue? If you want to keep customizing your appearance, stay and go back to the mirror instead. Continue. Looks pinkish. Oh, wow. Well, it's fine. Thanks for the 30 stream streak, Jai. Looks very stylish. Yes. This game did really well with like the vibe. Okay, so press space to jump. All right, here we go. I guess I'll stay on the road. Yeah, they said if I get out of the area, the demo stops, so. What's this? There's somebody here, the merchant. Hey, have you seen a wheel around here? Dang thing has fallen off, shoddy worksmanship. Hmm, a wheel? Okay, so I guess we have to find a wheel for him, I'm assuming. 
Look at that mustache. <laughs> okay, all right, let's go find his wheel, I guess. It's a scarecrow. Very atmospheric. Yeah. If we were a wheel, where would we be? I would be, I don't know, somewhere nearby. If he lost his wheel, it must be nearby, right? That's a scare human. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Like, it must have fallen off somewhere nearby. You think it rolled down the mountain? It's possible that it's not in the woods. Okay, let's, um, let's go ahead of him. Unless it doesn't let me. Let's see. Oh, I can. Screw you, merchant. Oh, wait, there's a wheel. Oh, look, I was right. <laughs> he didn't see this? Dude, turn around. Mm. There you go. It was nearby and it rolled down. Oh, look, donkeys. There you go. Do I have to talk to him? There you go. Ah, oh, you found it. Thank you. Wouldn't have got much farther without it. Hey, you look familiar. No, don't say. It'll come to me. Mocking squeaks and grunts. Felix. Oh, is that the name? He's mocking me? Wait, merchant. Getting old? How dare you, Felix? I never forget a face, but occasionally I misplace them. Curious grunt. Does he have m multi what? Who's Felix? Hmm, you're right, they do look- Oh my god, is he- is he- Oh, is a donkey? Oh, okay, I thought he was talking to himself. Well, well I guess he technically is. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it is pretty. How could you forget a face like that? I know, my face is cute. Hmm, you're right. They do look like they've been through some trouble. Excited squeaks and grunts. I know you look like trouble as much as the next slide slide me slide me but it's rude to pry i'm sorry about my er business associate he gets over excited sometimes really must throw him down a well one of these days threatening grunts this donkey seems to understand though yeah yeah not in that bottle you won't but wait bottle Oh, what? Look, I'm going to be staying around these parts for a while. You need anything, you come see me. I'll give you a good price on my wares. So I'm guessing he has something in a bottle. Maybe he has something in here. <laughs> okay, okay, our wares. Right, better get this cart fixed. You mind yourself now. Oh, there you go. Okay. Seems like more of a mouse or something. Yeah, it seems like a mouse. Interesting. I thought he had two personalities and he was talking to the other, his other half. <laughs> or something like that. Wow, look at this. The clouds are fuzzy, but they're turned on low. So I wonder what would they look like on high? Oh, eh, not really anything different. I'm gonna keep it on low because I my computer is like <laughs> calm down computer I hear you sounds like it's gonna take off oh here's somebody Eric Eric maybe I spy a young traveler you look strong and capable looking for work we've got plenty around here 
Okay. Are you gonna... Usually unusual folks coming to our village these days. Oh, okay. Well, who's this? Vitlana? But then again, Ma's a bit of a drinker. Wait, what? But then again, okay. All right. Oh, here's another person. I've seen the witch hiding, lurking in the bushes with eyes as red as the blood moon and fangs as sharp as iron. They call me crazy, but I know, I know. All right, he's a, he's, you know, we're gonna stay away from this guy. He doesn't seem to like witches. Oh, I like your goat. Mira. Ka, one of my beloved babies has gone missing. They must have got through the fence. Can you see if you can spot her? The herd are worried sick, and so am I. Okay, so we have to look for a baby goat, maybe? <laughs> got through the fence. Don't tell anyone, but I believe that old woman is a witch. I've seen her muttering over bones and gathering herbs at night. Oh gosh. They say the witch used to have a champion, but they've not seen... They've not been seen for years. Must have got tired of that smelly old bag of rags. Hmm. Wait, I'm trying to talk to everybody. Wait. Oh, a lot of... I guess a lot of their moms are drinkers. Should we go find the, the goat? Oh look, I can jump. Okay. So, where is the hole in the fence? If I can find the hole in the fence, maybe it could lead to the, to the goat. Or not. If y'all see a goat, let me know. I'm trying not to move my mouse as much because I feel like the frames aren't that optimized yet. So if I don't move my mouse, it feel it looks better. <laughs> no, it's Becky. Oh, I'm the goat. Thanks. Um, how far could that? Oh. Did I hear the goat? Did y'all hear a goat? Am I hearing things? I'm hearing things, aren't I? This is a really long way for a goat to pass. There's a road here. I don't see anything. Let's let's go back and maybe maybe we could stay near the fence. Come here, goat, goat, goat. Where's the goat? Do you think he went by the water to get like a drink? see a lot of crows. I swear we, w we would probably hear the goat if we got close enough. Hmm. We'll come back. I want to keep talking to people. There's another... How many Eric's are there? They say the witch used to have a... Co oh, wait. I guess it's the same person we talked to. Never mind. Can we go in this house? My dear friend set out months ago to explore the nearby lands. He has not returned and there has been no word from him since. I hope he has not forgotten us. This is cool. That's a very interesting looking fireplace. Maybe he's looking for grass to eat. That sounds like something a goat would do. There's grass everywhere though. 
All right, let's check out mm, this well in Iraq. Got water. Oh. Just kidding, I got an old chair. Oh, and a blue dresser. Wow, the things you'll find, man. The things you'll find in the places that you least expect. Nice. I've always wanted to get furniture. From a well. Yay. Ooh, let's talk to this lady over here. Ooh, what's this? A pumpkin. Oh! Oh, she's gonna think I stole her pumpkin, so I'm gonna drop that. I never realized how heavy pumpkins were until I was the only one left to bring in the harvest. Can you, oh, spare the time to help me? If you could carry the pumpkins into the barn, my back would be so grateful. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. Is this a pumpkin? I'm gonna assume yes. So I have to bring it in the barn? Like any, oh, in the back room, maybe here? Okay, I'm guessing this is the place. Oh shoot, man, there's like a lot of pumpkins. Oh, luckily I can sprint though. I hear a goat. Do you think that's the goat that's gone missing? I kind of figured it would be her goat. But maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Is the goat in here? Hmm. I received one pumpkin. Wait, do I really have to do all of these? I didn't read what she said, my bad. Where is this goat? Oh, is that the goat? Oh my god, we found the goat! Oh, that's so cute! Okay, hold that thought. I'll help her later. We found the goat! It was the goat. Unless this is her baby goat and I literally just <laughs> taken it and running away with it. Yay! Sacrifice. No! <laughs> Here you go. You found her, thank goodness. You were passing by, my headache is easing already. Here, take this and thank, take this and thanks. It's all I can afford. A goat painting, okay, thank you. Now we have a lot of furniture to decorate our little chicken hut whenever we can do that. Am I done helping this pumpkin lady? Let me, let me go see, let me talk to her. She gave me a pumpkin, so I assume. Okay, yeah, she said there's still many left. Can I like carry mo more than one? Okay, I think I can only carry one at a time. Oh, you saw it earlier? Okay. My face is like I'm doing all this freaking work for all these people. I wanna go find this witch, the old lady that they're talking about. Man, back in the day, how would you, how would you make people think you weren't a witch? Like, if you were, like, really pretty, they'll probably think that, oh, you use magic spell to make yourself pretty. If you keep to yourself, they'll probably just have 
just rumors about you. <laughs> it's like the Salem witch trials. Woo. Okay. Put this back. Man, how many how many more pumpkins? Man, you had a good harvest though, lady. Oh, I think this is the last one. I don't see any other, so I think this is the last one. Especially where when you are in fact a witch, how to make them think otherwise. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, also, if you're just old. Oh my, you are too kind. Here, take this for your efforts. More pumpkins! Oh, and a hanging wreath. That's nice. Alright, who else needs help? Who is this guy? See those birds? Shifty looking things. Beady eyes. I can swear they're following me. I can't scare them off. They must belong to that old crone in the woods. She's pretty shifty too. Like what if birds are just hanging around your house? Which, if I, if you help me, I'll make it worth your while. Okay. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Wait, how the heck? Shoot, oh, there you go. There you go. Is that good enough? Good grief. How did you manage that? You must have a touch of magic about you. Don't worry, I won't tell. Sure! All I did was scare off birds. Anyway, I keep my word. This is for you. Ooh, a large table. Man, where does he store that? Did he have that in his pocket? Alright, is this the old lady? Let's go see. Looks like an older lady. Oh, never mind. But then again, Ma's a bit of a drink. Oh, it's that lady. Ma's a bit of a drinker. Oh, it's like a dog. Putting your boat. Um, okay. Who else can we talk to in this uh, interesting village? Um, we help the pumpkin lady, we help the goat lady, we help the guy with his wheel, um, we scare it off the birds, whee, Ooh, here, what about this guy, Teodor, now listen here, you tread carefully youngster, Though these woods are home to many dangers for the unwary and unprepared. Some of the old folk even say that an ancient bony witch with iron teeth lives in them. Iron teeth, you say? Um. Jump in the ocean and see if you float. <laughs> oh my god. What's that? One that's been known to lure children into her hut to eat them. They say she wants to keep old practices alive and that she worships ancient gods. Ha! Nonsense, says I. Witches are relics of the old world. New beliefs have been spreading throughout this area for hundreds of years now. Sensible, right-thinking people believe in those. Our god prefers a different kind of compliance, much more civilized. I see no witch, just an old lady who talks to birds and mutters over herbs. But still, I'd steer clear of her anyway. Ah, do as you will. I, will n I won't be stopping you. You've been told about a location. Find it with your compass at the top of the screen. Oh, okay. To the old lady! This way? Oh, oh shoot, I'm in the water. Um, okay, let's stay. What's this? Ooh! Simple bed with texture sheets. So I guess you just explore the world and you can find furniture. That's nice. I have enough to make a bedroom, I think. Find a way. 
Oh, here we go. Found it. It got dark really fast. Ooh. Fufu, what's this? I smell someone dares approach my door. She would freak me out, too. <laughs> A child. Hmm, of course. Don't you know it's rude to be late, child? I've been waiting for you for quite some time. Perhaps you have... Uh, you too have been waiting for me? Either way, child, we meet at a crossroads. Where we go from here, only time will tell. Should I trust this old lady? Yes. We're trusting. She certainly won't eat me. What is this? Wait, how do I interact? Oh, it was just... Oh! I'm a witch. Look at this. Ah! Okay. Definitely am a co okay talking with her. It's a very interesting outfit. Well, look at you. Weak and alone in the world like a newborn kitten, you stumble forth into my garden. Tell me, little kitten, what brings you here? Dot, dot, dot. No answer for me. That's fair. That's fair. We hardly know each other. Yet perhaps we always have. Another life? Another lives? It's all the same to me. But enough of idle chatter. There is work to be done. There is always work to be done. My shelves are empty and my belly grumbles like a kosh chi wife? Kosh chi wife? Is that Slavic, all of this? Like some of these words and their names. Hot water and herbs do not... Do not a meal make. Bring me some ingredients. To make a tasty soup. You'll find a recipe in the book on the bench. Hmm. It looks like you need fattening up too, kitten. You may borrow my birds, but know that they are more precious to me than any other creature that breathes upon this earth. And you, my children of wing and claw, see that this kitten knows her herbs from her weeds. And if she tries to run, well, you know what to do. Definitely not Spanish. That's for sure. Go to the bench and take a book. What do you mean if I run? Well, that's kind of freaky. Okay, I took the book. Press tab to open your new journal. Ooh, okay. In your journal, go to quest to see what the old woman wants you to do next. Okay, quest. The old woman wants you to collect some honey. In your journal, click on collection, then items. Finally, click on the honeycomb to learn more about it. Okay, so this is the map. This is interesting. Click on any icon on your map to highlight it on your compass and on, on your compass and on your quest page. Okay. Pumpkin lady. Oh my god, it really was the pumpkin lady. And the goat herder. Herder. Trial the chicken. Collect 10 mushrooms for the old woman's soup. Collect 6 honeycombs for the old woman's soup. So we need 10 mushrooms, 6 honeycombs. Okay. Then on items. And then on honeycomb. Here we go. Consult your journal if you're lost. Now press tab to close the journal. Okay. Honey is delicious on its own and used in many recipes. Beeswax makes for a wonderful base for many ointments. Most commonly it can be found in the forest. You don't know what to craft with this yet. Okay. Um, I also need mushrooms. Okay. Alright. Okay, now the door opened. Does it show on my map? I guess not. Cool. There's furniture, trinkets, clothes, recipe items of all the things you can collect. Cool. And there's crafting. Alright, let's go find some mushrooms. Oh, and one more thing. A challenge, perhaps. Certainly more challenging than finding me some simple mushrooms. The lucky have stolen my magical talisman. Again! Lucky are spirits. Very excitable spirits. Especially when you have a pocket full of berries. You will find those wretched blocks of wood deeper in the forest. 
blocks of wood. Find them, retrieve what they stole. Once you have the talisman, you can use its power to come back here more swiftly. But if you return without it, my next soup will be a little meatier. Now go, stumble on, little kid. I love being threatened. You have been told about a location. Find it with your compass. Okay. Well, okay. All right. Why are these crows following me? Shoot. Oh, what the heck? Okay, here's some mushrooms. Here we go. Got two mushrooms. Oh, wow, lots of mushrooms. Oh, I like how you collect stuff. Okay, I have a lot of mushrooms now. How do we find the honeycomb? Oh my god, these crows, I swear to god. Look, here's more furniture. Blue cupboard with red flowers. Alright. Oh, here's, oh, here's a beehive. Aim, and then collect. Oh, that's me! That's my power! Oh, I control the crows. Oh. Uh ha -huh, ha, that's cool. All right. Um, is there any more bees? That's cool. I got two. Oh, what's that? Should I keep getting more mushrooms? I guess it doesn't hurt. I also really, this is satisfying. What is this? Oh, I got money. 35 gold coins. Oh, and 15. All 15 and 35. And a scarecrow. And a clothesline. Wow. Somebody left some good loot. Oh, here we go. I'm assuming... Okay, I got 18. Okay, we're totally good with the, the bees. Honeycomb. There we go. Guess you could just find more. How do I find berries? Okay, well, let's just keep heading towards the, whatever these things are. Interesting. Oh my god, they really are just pieces of wood. So, are you the lucky? Oh, it seems like one of you got stuck under some planks. Um, can we help? Take talisman. Here we go. We found the old witch's talisman. Hold H to teleport back to her at any time. Oh, I helped them. But they really are just little <laughs> chunks of wood. Look how cute they are. Okay, alright. Hold H. It is really relaxing, isn't it? It seems like there's a day and night cycle, too. All right. I'm in the house. Come in. Come in. What are you waiting for? She's so creepy. <laughs> Why do you gotta be so creepy? Tell me, little kitten. Do you have a name? Rika? Hmm, I see. Yes, Rika. Of course it is. Do you know your name means river? Rivers are important. Vital. The arteries of the world, they bring life. Perhaps you do too? Well, did you get all the ingredients? Good, we'll need them for the ritual. Oh, did I say soup? My mistake. So easy to get the two mixed up in a mind that has, long, has lived as long as mine. Folks think that witchcraft is mainly about rituals. It's actually a lot more about soup. Never underestimate the power of a full belly. <laughs> Now then, River Kitten, let's continue. 
Ritual calls for a few more items. We already have the mushrooms and honey you collected. We will also need a sturdy length of pine. Uh, you don't have one on you, do you? No? So many folk really have no idea what's important in life. So many... So many use... So many uses for a nice pine branch. Branch. In front of my hut, there's a small island. On it stands a giant crooked pine. Snap off a branch and return it to me. Okay. Oh, and on your return, acquaint yourself with the chickens. Chickens are important. Many think chickens to be dumb birds. Not a bit of it. They're just plain dumb. Minds as sharp as their beaks. Get the pine branch, select a chicken you like the look of, and bring them both to me. I'll wait for you behind the hut and begin the preparations. Soon, soon it will be time. Soon you will rise again. Okay, is she gonna kill the chicken that I choose? She's cooking me? She did say a ritual. No, do you think she is cooking me? I'm gonna go get the pine branch. Um, oh here, it's right here. Oh, we can just walk through the water. Oh, okay. A hundred percent. Oh no. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna be, I'm, I'm creating the soup. That she's going to kill, cook me in. No. All right, and then I have to choose a chicken. Hmm. I like this brown chicken. Yeah, this chicken. Oh no. Oh, that looks nice. Like a little, oh, look at that. Do I just drop it? Or do I keep, I like this chicken. The page is filled with complex diagrams and incantations. It is hard to read, but one part of it can be deciphered. But only if the bears are aligned. The final two offerings to Siva, grain for which, for what currently is, and bread for what may become of it, placed at the same time on opposite sides of the egg, they will complete the second crest, forming a Pavna Braza, the union between sun and moon, male and female energy, making new life possible. If the soul is ready and the egg is ready, all I need is new blood and raw ancestral power to... The rest of the page is inel ineligible. Oh god, illegible. Ineligible. Um, interesting. Is that a picture of her? I think she's, you think she's trying to, the soul that she needs is somebody, oh shoot, is, is somebody she's trying to bring back from the dead? Finally you have graced us with your presence, now follow me. Alright. At least you're making sure you're cooked in the best, <laughs> in the best ingredients. I think you're right. It's okay, I can attack her with my crows. Oh god, what is this? You walk so slow, lady. Here, I'll go ahead on ahead. Scope it out. So far, it looks okay. Oh shoot, I think I had to be right next to her. This is the place where we fell all those years ago. Those who would not listen and those who would be, would not be heard. And we fell as we all do. But my friend, my love, my child did not get back up. I searched for answers far and wide. Eventually I returned here, cast my mind wide, sent out a calling and waited, waiting for the right kind of mind to answer. One that understands pain, understood loss. 
Now we must no longer delay. Take that chicken over to the old oven. Oh, don't be so concerned. It'll be fine. I'm sure it will make itself a home in that nest. Besides, it is about to ascend to heights that such birds rarely reach. Oh. Okay. Alright, Mr. Chicken. Looks like you're gonna be turned into a crazy big chicken or something. There you go. Yeah, looks nice. Comfy. Okay. Do you have the branch I told you to find? Good. While I start the sigil, I need you to cleanse the space. Hold your branch to the candle's flame until it ignites, then sweep its powerful incense through the air. Oh, okay. Right. That's it. Good. Follow me to the next one. What are these white things? Are those bones? Oh, is this the hut? She's making the hut, chat. I think she's making the chicken hut. Oh. Yes, yes, very good. Quickly, on to the next. Oh, chat, we're making the chicken hut. Final one. Have you played this, Orca? The demo? Alright, last one. Here we go. You can follow... You can follow clear instructions. That's promising. In the hut by the front door, there is a shrine to my ancestors. One of them saw fit to leave me an egg. We'll need it for the ritual. It's not like a chicken's egg at all, River Kitten. Foolish talk. Although it will hatch something. It all, if all goes to plan. It has sat dormant for many years, but hopefully it can provide, still provide us with what we need. Bring it to me. Oh, and pick up some grain from my garden on your way. We'll need that later. Oh, okay, well, she's not sacrificing me. Yay. Okay, wait, what am I supposed to do? I have to get the egg. And, uh, okay. Alright, some green. Alright, let's go back to her house. Cool. This has been pretty unique so far. Okay, where is the egg, though? This is sparkly. I guess this is the egg. Oh, that. Oh, that. This is the. Oh, this is the egg. Oh, <laughs> okay. Um, didn't she say I also needed green? Um, what green? Maybe it's just the egg. It looks like I can't hold anything else, anyways. I don't see anything sparkly, so. Alright, let's go. Oh! Here is the grain I'm supposed to pick up. Wait, here? Oh, here? Oh, here. Oh, there we go. I don't know how much grain, but I'm gonna take it all. And this was berries? Oh. Okay. Well, anyways. Got it. Hi, Luna. How are you? Effing grain? <laughs> you? <laughs> Alright. Got a giant egg. Okay, wait. Where is she? Oh, there she is. That's it. Good. It's a thing of wonder. You just wait. Now put it in the oven. for us to make the offerings. We will honor many gods in this ritual. Perhaps you will learn more of them in time. If you prove yourself. 
For now, we must honor the goddess of fertility. I have placed bowls on all four sides of the bones. I'll start with this one. You go to the bowl at the back, Ripper Kitten, and place some honeycomb within it. Okay. Alright, some honeycomb. shall both walk clockwise around the house to the next bowl and then when I tell you to place some grain in the bowl you have the grain yes into the bowl with it okay so clockwise here we go there's some grain yes it's working wait it's working the river kitten is capable hmm Come to me, we are not finished. Quickly now. She's gonna push you. <laughs> Hopefully no females need to be sacrificed to make this hat, this house. Take this, be very careful with it. It is a charm blessed by the god of fire, a powerful, dangerous object in the wrong hands. Hush now, stop looking at your hands. They are the right ones at least for now. Using this charm, I need you to dissolve the bones surrounding this site, each and every last one. We need to harness their essence. Go, I need to focus on the next step. Do not disappoint me. I cannot be disappointed again. Oh, and be respectful. The one you dissolve meant more to me than you will ever know. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. feeling about this game so far, chat? What do y'all think? Interesting, huh? <laughs> Man, there's a lot of bones. Okay, I get the bones all over here. Okay. Let's go back. You like it so far? Very chill. It gives, it gives spooky vibes, but it's not scary. I mean, I guess because it's a win. Just a little more. Okay. Okay. I'm curious as to where the story is gonna go. Yeah, me too. Okay, how many? Oh, that's all of them. Come back to me. Oh, where are you? Can't see anything. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Immaculate vibes. Okay. <laughs> uh, give me back that charm. You are far too inexperienced to hold such power longer than necessary. How did it feel to wield the power of Subra? Tingles, does it? Does it? Like a nettle sting on the inside of your skin. Hmm. Don't grow too big for your boots. We are not done yet. Go back to my house and bring me embers from the oven. The ritual requires you carry them red hot in your bare hands. <sighs> Don't look at me like that. Carrying embers should not prove a problem to one who has wielded Sprog's power. Now get to it, quickly. Oh my god, what? I'm gonna be burning my hands for this? Why do we have to hold it? Oh man, my hands are gonna go numb. Goodness. All right. Oh, no big deal. Just carrying flame. Ah, it's hot. It's hot. It's hot. Go, 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 go. Oh, look. I'm lighting candles. Cool. You are a brave one, River Kitten. I hope it lasts. Give the embers to me. There is one last thing I need from you. Come closer. There, don't look like that. It was only a small prick. Just a drop of blood. <gasps> she drew blood from me? You won't miss it. Blood is key, blood is the bond. See how the embers absorb it. The living embers, they have burned bright for generations. Fire passed from home to home. There are aged dwarfs, even mine. 
The living embers gave life to my love a long time ago, and new life they shall give today. This last part I must do alone. You did well, little river kitten. Let's hope it was not the last time. But for now, watch and learn. Oh God, what's happening? She disappeared. Done. I persist. The world shall remember Baha Jaka. It shall remember and tremble before the mother of witches. Whew. Now that that was exhausting. Quite took the wind out of me, did it? Or me, it did. <laughs> yeah. Now sit down, oh swamp rats. It's not responding. I can't fix my mind. I can't control it. River can tell it to sit down. Okay, sit. Hut, hut, sit down. Oh, and listen. Whoa. What the heck? It dug itself into the ground. You did well, little river kitten. You did not disappoint. At least, not yet. There's potential in you. You have a quick mind. You see beyond what others do. You are a natural witch, perhaps even born to it. Few can do what you did. Look around you, look at what you've created. This will be our house, our home. But I will allow you to build it yourself. Furnish it, decorate it, make it just how you imagine. Embrace the light or the darkness, the grand or the humble. We will live in it and travel the lands within its walls. I will take the largest room. <laughs> Okay, Baba Yaga needs her space, and it is more than a fair price for what I can teach you if you're willing to learn. If you are, take this wood and build, begin to build a new, uh, build a future. Okay, 132 pieces of wood. Stand on the top of the wooden platform and press B to open the build mode. Okay, interesting. <laughs> All right. Press R and Q to switch to the categories and select house building parts. Okay, so this is big furniture, small furniture, items and storage, ceiling decor, wall decor, decoration, books, friends, illumination, and then house. Okay. Use E to build a small floor for your new home on top of the platform. Um, okay, maybe like, okay, E is to place. Is there a way to like rotate it? Oh, maybe like this? Oh, okay. There you go. This looks good. Do I keep going? Oh, hover over any of your place house parts and press C to store it away. Um, okay, maybe we'll store that. Use your mouse pad or D-pad to select the wall piece. Oh, there we go. Okay, hover over a floor piece and build a wall. Okay. There. Cool. So we can even build, like, the outside? That's cool. Um, so I can select a roofing. 
Roofs are always so confusing for me, but okay. Hold and drag, left click to rotate things. Oh, okay. Hover over a wall and place the roof to it, and then hold, left click, and drag to rotate. Okay, like that, okay. Not bad. Whoa. Cool. Uh, press B to close build mode. All right. Good. Go ahead and place my chair now. Time does not rest, but I need to. Oh, wow. That's a fancy chair. Okay. Stand on top of the wooden platform. Press B to open build mode. Um, okay. Uh, press to go to this, like, Baba's chair. Okay, so, small furniture. Okay, hold. Okay, here we go. Where should we place her chair? Maybe, like, in the corner? I think that's a good spot. Place. Hold, right click. Oh, cool, wow, okay, so this is like different ways to put the chair down. Oh, she sat in it. <laughs> okay, there you go. I will give you one more chair. This one is for you, an ancient one. This chair will allow you to speak to the hut directly for you will be steering us in this quest up the river. Place the chair and talk to it. Steer the hut through the forest to where the fog is at its deepest to leave this part of the world. No, if you do that, we may never return here, so you better make sure to explore some more. There are some interesting locations in this forest for you to find still. Okay. So it looks like I'm still able to like decorate the house and like investigate stuff for the demo ends. So I will do that. However, before I do that, I think I want to go take a little break because I'm hungry. Build the bone chair so you may speak to your chicken hut. Here, we can at least look at what this looks like first. Where's my chair? Here we go. Um, here, I'll put it right in front of the fire. <laughs> oh, that's not creepy at all. Oh my god, look at the chair! Um, okay, let's exit out. Oh look, look at all the pieces of furniture that I got. That's what I found earlier, right? Hut hut, stand up. Muffled plucking. Whoa! Holy cow. I can cook. Click on items in your inventory to add them to the cutting board. If you add the right combination of exactly three items, a new recipe might start crafting. Try it now by adding three berries three by adding berries three times. Happy experimenting. Oh, cool. Your bread oven needs fuel to work. Go to the back of your oven and add some wood. You've learned a new recipe. Jam. Cool. Wait, um, I think maybe I shouldn't have put the chair here. Let me pick it up. Let's, how about we put it, like, here? I can't build here? Oh, what about here then? Wait, I can't place it there? Oh, it has to be, oh, it has to be on the wooden platform. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Can you imagine someone just walking by with their chicken hut and they're like, this way. Hick. <laughs> okay, let's see how we can move it. Hut, hut, go where I say. Oh, look. Oh, and this is how, oh my God, this is how you control it. Cool. Normally walking with your chicken legged cottage into the fog will allow you to travel to the next map and this demo will end the di or in this demo in the demo, so only go there if you're finished. I don't know 
don't even know where they're even talking about, but cool. Wait, do I move the trees? Oh my god, I moved the trees! That's cool. But it doesn't hurt the trees. Whoa! Let's go scare the village! Ha ha ha! Let's go terrorize the village! I'm coming! There's a house right here. What do we do? Oh, we just step on the house. Oh, we step through the house. Wait, no, that's the house of the old lady. Sorry, I forgot. Godzilla! <laughs> Where's the pumpkin lady? Look, pumpkin lady. Oh, best you leave our house on the village outskirts. Pitchfork wielding mobs are such a bore to deal with. Go by foot if you must. Oh, dang. All right, never mind. We can't terrorize the town. <laughs> Wait, why can't I sit down? It is too steep? Wait, what? Really? What about... Uh, here. Oh, there we go. Nice. Oh, look, there's a deer. Oh, there's deer here. Hello. Okay, let's continue playing Reika. Um, so we were, we, we, <laughs> we created our little witch hut thing. Also, how am I supposed to get more wood? Actually, can I, can I gather wood? How do I gather wood? Hmm. I only ask because you need wood to put these like planks down and to build walls. You know? Walk through the forest and knock trees down. Is that how you get wood? I mean, that sounds like, that sounds like it. What is this? Functional. Oh, I think that's just to move things. Um, okay, I would like to go to the house. Here. Whoa, what is all of it? Oh, look, you can add windows. What is that? Is that just the floor? Okay, that's just the floor. Oh, and you can add stairs. I guess this is another type of wall. No, no, no. There's vertical beams. Okay, and then you have two different types of roofs. Okay. And then what is this? A small window versus a large window? Okay, okay, okay. Let's, um, let's keep placing some... ...stuff down. They should just give me, like, endless amounts. Also, I wish you could have like half, like half size stuff, you know? It looks kind of weird when it's like jetting out, but oh well. All right, what else can I, I can put some over here? I'm gonna store that. Okay. She said that she wanted the biggest house or the biggest room. Like, lady, that ain't gonna happen. Like, if I'm building it, it's gonna be for my room. <laughs> Don't even. Let's take all of these down. I guess it's to show you, like, what's possible. Oops, I messed up. I think I took a... There. Um, and let's expand it on this side. Was I getting wood while knocking the trees down? Like, that would honestly make so much sense. But I don't think that's it. 
Alright. <gasps> okay, let's make some walls. Is this taking from my storage? Oh, here. Here's storage. Oh, no, no. That's not the right storage. Yeah, I don't know. I guess it just takes straight from your storage. So, alright. Alright, let's, let's build uh, a house. <laughs> okay, oh, let's put a, how do we put the window? How does this work? Okay, let's do the little one. Do you just like put it on it? And then can you, oh, okay, cool. So that's how you place windows. Oh, I, I like that. That's honestly a lot better because you can like place the windows exactly where you want them. Cool. There are many ways to get... Oh my god, Jai. Put her in a room under the stairs like Harry Potter. I mean, I could because she like sits... <laughs> she sits um in her little chair. I really don't think I'm gonna have enough wood to like make this all covered. But I really want to. Can y'all see um, if the reviews have like any information on finding like wood in the game? Cause I mean, I can go explore and we can see. I wonder if there's like branches on the ground that I just haven't noticed that I can just pick up. What in the world? I hit the creepy freaking thing looks at me weird. Um, all right, I think that's good. Um, I want a deck. Oops. How did I do that? Eh, not so bad so far, but I have 50 wood left. <laughs> At least these things don't cost that much wood. Oops. Don't mind the chair. Now, how do I make a door? Oh, shoot. Can I make a door? Is there a door? Is that? Oh, maybe that's a door. Oh, maybe that was a door. Okay, there we go. At least I think this is a door. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, and this is our little deck. Cute. <laughs> Don't ask me how to do the roof. Um, here, we'll keep the door open. Here, let's put some more like windows and stuff. Um, let's see, we need windows. Um, to make it light. Oh, I guess that was a good place. Okay, yeah. Okay, and we'll put a window maybe here and here and here. <laughs> Trying to make it equal. Okay, I think that's good. Here, let me open all the windows so it seems a bit brighter in here. To collect more wood, uh, you would need to continue to ma to explore the world and progress through the main quest line. Oh. Dang it, could you have given us infinity wood for the demo so we could build 
build. Well, you know what? Who needs a roof? We don't need a roof. We don't need a roof, chat. We're fine. <laughs> We're good. We have 50 pieces, so... Okay. Alright, I'm gonna put my chair on... Oh, shoot. Hold on. I'm gonna put my chair on the porch. Because <laughs> that makes sense. It does actually make sense. Um, okay. Maybe, like, right there. Nice. Creepy thing. You're building a whole house. Mm-hmm. You know it. Oh, look. Here's a bed. Okay, so let's put the bed maybe, like, back here. This is actually a really good spot for the bed. Um, what is this? A table? Okay, I'm gonna move her later. So this could be like our dining room table. Um, here's a chair. Here, we'll put the chair like, oops. We'll put the chair like here. What is this? Oh, here we go, a nightstand. Put that, like, in the middle, like, right here. <laughs> a scarecrow? I don't know where to put that. Oh, here's a dresser. Oh, this is... Oh, perfect. We'll have the dresser here. What is this? A clothesline? How interesting. Okay. What else do I have? I have... Oh, here's a chest. I think this would be good to put like right here. Um, oh, here's a, a, a wall painting. Oh my god, it's so tiny. It's a picture of a goat. Um, it's to remember the goat lady that I helped. So we'll put the picture like maybe on our nightstand so we can remember. Oh, oh my god, hanging wreath. Oh my god, can we put this on our door? Hold on. We probably can't, but... Oh my god, did that actually work? Oh, no, not really. <laughs> okay, never mind. Um, let's put that... We can just use it as a decoration instead. What if we put it above our door? Like right here. Maybe. Eh. Here, this is an empty spot. We'll put it there. Um, then we got a pumpkin. This is a big old pumpkin! Here, we'll put it on our table. We're gonna go pumpkin carving later. We are witches. Oh, here we go. Oh my god, these are huge <laughs> pumpkins. Oh, and a book. Um, we could put the book on our nightstand. How about that? So, like, we were reading. Oh, that's pretty big. Okay, we'll put it on the dresser. That's nice. I wish I could do illumination, but we can't. Nice! This looks great! How does the stairs work? Let's see. So we got these stairs. And we got these big ones. I feel like I would need a big one. There. Like this, maybe? Oh, not bad. Cool! What if we build, like, a little deck on top? Kinda, kinda hard, but not impossible. Okay. Oops. Oh shoot, where'd I put that? Nice. Cool, so we can build a second floor. Nice. 
You surprised? I'm surprised there's not an undo button. Um, eh, I don't think it's necessary, but yeah, maybe maybe they're working on it. Maybe they can add it. <sighs> you like the sound of the wind? What other stuff can I find though? So at least we have a roof over here. You know. There we go. This doesn't have any walls, so uh don't fall. Maybe I can make like a like a half wall. Like back here. There. <laughs> it's all the wood I have. Okay, there you go. Not bad. A little dangerous up there, but Oh, not bad. And look, you can still get in there really easily. Oh, how homey. That's so homey. This is so homey. I like it. And this creepy lady. Um, let's pick her up. Oh my god. Woo. Here, let's put her up on the top. <laughs> Here we go. Here, this is your throne. About, like, right there. Wait, why not? Wait, I can't put her anywhere? Uh... What do you think of what I've built? I've been watching your progress with fascination. You've made some interesting choices, young one. No doubt I can live with them. Perhaps you can use this old chest of mine. Just put it where you see fit. I shall place a gift in there whenever your endeavors please me. Be sure to look inside from time to time. My gift should not be ignored. Oh, okay. All right. What about, I have more questions. Is the chicken I chose dead now? Yes and no. It's complicated. It certainly reached greater heights than most poultry can ever dream of. I saw the giant bones. What happened to your old friend? It is not something I wish to speak of with you. Okay, where are we traveling to? We will follow the flow of the river to the east. It is a greater teacher than even I. The waters are life and memory. It contains all things that ever were and ever will be. All right. How do I kick her off her chair? Who are you anyway? I think my reputation is not what it used to be. Once I was spoken, once I was spoke of in fearful whispers and screams and shivers, I traveled through nightmares and shadows. I have been known by many names, although I can't say I cared for any of them. You may call me Baba Jaga. I have more questions. I can't answer all your questions now. You have to go. I have work to do. I guess, like, once you place her, that's it. For at least... For now. Oh, also... Oh, shoot. I can't cook because I used all the wood. <laughs> no! I wanted to cook, darn it. At least I could make... I made jam. Maybe there's something else I can make. Hold on, let's see. What if I add three honeycomb? Nothing. Okay. What about some mushrooms? Oh, I made some soup. How nice. What about some all three green? Oh, I made some porridge. What about... Wait, I'm, I think it's trying to cook, but since I don't have any wood, it can't cook. That's all right. Oh, how spacious. Okay. All right. Let's see. I don't know what we can where we can go, but let's just try going somewhere, I guess. Glad, just be glad they don't have building codes. Yeah, that is nice, isn't it? Um, oh. What, what was that? Oh, is that the fog? Okay, we don't want to go to the fog yet. <laughs> this is so cool. where she says I can go. Did they, when y'all were looking at 
the dev information about the wood? Does it say anything about all the things you can do in the demo? Like where you can go? We're in the water. This is her house. Figure out where pla the places I've been to. <sighs> Wee, the house walks? Yeah! It's like Howl's Moving Castle. I love that you can decorate it though. That's so cool. Oh, there's a bridge over here. Hold on, let me tell it to sit down. Let me go inspect the bridge. It's probably nothing, but... What is that? Oh, oh, wait, I've been here. Oh, that's where I got those items. Oh, right, 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 right. It was like a sack. Is there anything else out here? Oh, here's some berries. Oh, there must be... This must be the berries the left key like. I wonder if I can go to them now and give them berries and see if they do anything. Where is the left key? This way. Oh my god, why'd the house stand up? Oh, it's... Oh, now it sat back down. <laughs> Here you go. Give Barry. Oh look, he gave me something. Hey, and hanging herb. Some garlic. Another hanging herb. Onion braid. Cool, you can decorate it and make it look like a real witch house. What about this one? Can I give you a berry? What about you? Garlic braid. Oh, can I just keep giving them berries? Oh, I think that's it. Cool! Giving them berries gave me items. Thank you. And it was just like random areas that I guess had items. Ooh. Here's some more honeycomb. There was like wagons and stuff with chests and, and when you clicked on the chest, it would give you some furniture. I like it. I don't think there is any more though. I wonder if I can teleport, because you know how you can click H and you can teleport? Oh, there's the fog. I wonder if I press H, if it'll teleport me to the chicken hut. Let's see. Let's find out. Looks like it. Maybe. Oh, it does! Nice. Alright, let's place some of this stuff down. Hold on, I have an idea. Oh, wait, let me place her chest. Here, I'll place her chest maybe mm, by this window. 16 out of 50. Oh, 160 out of 50. Wonder what's inside. Hold on one second. Oh my god, what if I put the scarecrow in this? Oh, okay, hold on. I'm gonna do that. Can I hang these? Oh my god, you can't. You can hang them from the roof! Because they're... Oh, I like these. So we can have, like, a kitchen where we have hanging... Ah! We have hanging food. <laughs> That's cool. Um, and then this is just decoration. 
Okay, well, we'll put, I guess, this garlic and this. That's a big ol' egg! We'll put those there. Was there anything else? Oh, yeah, I wanted to put the scarecrow up here. Oh, wait, here, right here. <laughs> That's not terrifying. And then our clothing. This is, I guess, where we'll do our laundry. <laughs> I don't think I have anything else. All right, so what is this? Oh! <gasps> Ginger cat! She gave me a cat! Ooh, she's giving me more furniture. Ancestor shrine. A top coat, cape with leaves. Ooh, a new outfit? Wait, how do I put the outfit on? Or maybe it's just for decoration? Okay, let's see. We'll put the ancestor shrine in this corner. Oh my god, look at the ginger cat. I'll put the cat here. Oh my god, so cute. <laughs> Where's the, oh here. Oh wait, this is actually really big. Or no, no, it can fit. Kinda. Honestly, perfect. Oh, oops. That fits perfectly! Can you pet the cat? Let's see. Is there anything else I got? I got that outfit, but I don't know how to put it on. Look at this. Interact. Oh, wait. That's <laughs> Hold on, let me move the cat, actually. The cat will go... What about, like, right here? <gasps> oh my god, the cat walks around! Please... Please don't go anywhere. But I, I guess... What is take food? Huh. Uh, don't go anywhere. Oh my god, the cat's gonna... Oh no. Please, where do you go? Did the cat leave? Oh, well, that stinks. <laughs> where did the cat go? Oh no, I already lost the cat you gave me, Grandma. Oh, no, there's the cat. Wait, if I say, let's go, does the cat stay on the ground or does he come back? I can't tell. Huh. Yeah, I'm not sure. But it looks like the cat can just go wherever he pleases. Darn it! I already lost my pet cat. Should I go put up signs? I wonder if there's anything else I can find. I can easily fast travel, so let's just keep looking around. Let's go back to the, let's go back to the home area, or the, excuse me, the town. And let's ask if they, oh, what was that? Oh, that's just that. Um, let's ask if they n know anything. I inspected that. Like, did they, did they see my house now? Oh, wait, shoot, this is her house. Uh, where's the town? Oh, it's this way. Let's go this way. It looks like the cat goes wherever he pleases. Yep, typical cat for you. Which is unfortunate. <gasps> Another box. Because I want to be able to... Oh, what's a bow saw? Hanging herb. Wait, what's a bow saw? 
Is that just for decoration? It's a weird decoration, but yeah. I just feel bad because I'm probably going to, yeah, squish the cat. I'm going to walk around. The cat's going to get squished. <laughs> no, the kitty. Ooh, is there? Oh, I already opened this one. Darn it. The bow saw reminds me of something you could... Can you just use that to chop down the trees? Hi, comeback cat. Thanks for the 23 months. Hello. Can we talk to these people? I'm the companion now. We'll be down to eight lives after that. <laughs> It's okay, we're witches. We can give him more life. He'll live forever. I guess. Oh look, that's a clever way of hanging flowers. I guess you can look to see what kind of furniture is in the game. An unfamiliar face. We don't get many of those around here. Welcome to our little town. Please excuse me for not being more hospitable. I would normally invite you in for a little nourishment on your travels. Unfortunately, I have nothing I could offer you at the moment since most of our grain was spoiled before we could harvest it. Winter is fast approaching and we're all, we all fear what troubles it might bring. We're, we'd be so grateful you could help, could find time to help us. I would like a small savory meal. Well, too bad. I don't have any wood. I'm sorry. I'm, would you like a mushroom? I can't finish that quest chat. No, I used up all the wood. I'm sorry. It looks like maybe we can get planters and put some plants there. Is this south? Oh, you have to find... Oh, wow, there is more quests. Wait, what does this quest have me do? Missing friend. Someone in the village told me they're missing their friend. Maybe I will find him in the forest. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> it's a sad thing. I should have at least kept one piece of wood. Is this the guy she's talking about? No. Is this south? Oh, yes. S. South. Okay. All right. Well, let's look for the guy in the woods. If you see anybody, let me know. I'm just gonna follow the trail. Hopefully he didn't drown. I wonder if I should use my hut to try to find him. Though it's kind of hard to see where I'm walking. Here, maybe, maybe he kept going this way. Let's try. That's pretty. Almost time. Oh, it is almost time. All right. Well, I'm going to give a good look around this area real quick. And then I'll probably stop. This was fun, though. I'm, I'm looking forward to this. Wait, where am I? Oh, south. Oh, that's fog, though. Where the heck did this guy go? Any people? I don't see anyone. There's some more berries. Get him, crow. Maybe, maybe you can't find the guy. This is a pretty area, though. Oh, I'm heading north now. Look at the deer. Oh, they run away from you. <laughs> wow, 
Well, this guy's gonna stay lost because I don't know where he is. Oh! Shoot! What happened here? That's not very wholesome. Can I cut him down? Well, that's creepy. Wait, what's this? Day one, when I stepped out this morning, my heart was singing with joy at beginning my new adventure. The world is a new place and I am but a small man, yet I yearn to be more, to see more and understand more. What adventures await me? What sights, tastes and smells? The anticipation is almost too much. As I am riding, I spy fellow travelers approaching. I hope I can make camp with them tonight. <gasps> Did they do this? Did they kill him? Oh, I got a dresser. Lucky me. Thanks for the dresser. Well, that's creepy. Who are these adventurers that did that? Can we find them? <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. Sorry, guys. Uh, is this the witch's house? Whose house is this? Is this the witch's house? Oh, no, this looks different. What is this? It's like, just like a barn, I guess. <gasps> I hear a cat. Oh my god, is that my cat? What are you doing here? Oh, I guess this is how you can also get another ginger cat. Oh, I can get a canopy bed? <laughs> what the heck? Wow, pretty fancy bed. Oh, okay, so you can get the cat, the orange cat in that house. If, I guess, you don't normally get it from the witch. Is there anybody else over here? If not, I'm leaving. I'm gonna leave. Okay. Can't find that guy. I wanna put that canopy bed down real quick though. So I wanna see what it looks like. I'll put it up here. All right. That's a fancy bed. Nice. Oh, look, and then I can have my own ginger cat. But we're not gonna click it this time. See, look! <laughs> the scarecrow above it. Yay! It looks great. Nice. What a very interesting game. I'm looking forward to the building more aspect and seeing where this goes.